It's like two. Mortimer, we're back. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, usual suspects, new faces, old faces. Let's go. It's another episode of the Monday Mid Show. It's your co-host, Molly Moore, a.k.a. Mr. Accidental Purchase, a.k.a. I didn't cop another one. We got a great show for you today. Before we jump into this interview, we're going to throw it around the horn to my main man, Red Cup McGruff. What up? What's good? It's your boy, Polos and Jays, a.k.a. Polo the Don. Coming at you live from D-Town. Of course, we got the Red Cup with me, as always. Tell me what you think is in it. I'm going to pass it over to my one-legged friend. Yo, what's good? It's one-legged Lister. I'm your one-legged friend. Maybe your only one-legged friend. I'm coming with my one leg. What's good? Stop. Um, <laughs> and uh, with that, I'll pass it off to, uh, to Big Man himself. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Buckeye said he's so. Kev, Tito Jackson. Michael Bivens, um, the Wolverine and Badger Basher. Um, yeah, that was that's a new one. That's a new one for y'all. Um, but we got a great show uh, planned for you today. I'm going to go ahead and pass it back to Molly so you can go ahead and introduce our special guest. Yes, yes. Without further ado, Baltimore Sneaker Show, a.k.a. Dino Hatfield. What's going on, brother? What's up, man? I'm in an uh, undisclosed place. In Baltimore somewhere. Get but, uh, you know, it was good, man. I'm glad to be here. This is about to be some fun. Yo, thanks for coming on, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, we going to jump right into the interview, obviously. Make yeah. good use of your time in case you got to dip out or anything. Uh, so no, I, I'm good for a little while. You're Y'all good? All right. Bet, bet. Uh, so first question, we're going to lay it up like we usually do, man. What got you into sneakers? Um, Feet, having feet. <laughs> all right, so which it. one did you put on your feet that got you hooked? What's the one? Um, that got me hooked to where as though I was getting crazy. Um, when I was in the 10th grade, that was around the time of like, might be telling my age a little bit, but that was around the time of like, knock yourself out, um, early Nike talk shit when we was doing, uh, you know, the Gucci Air Force Ones and that type of stuff. Like, I was literally, like, you know, in my mother's basement doing, you know, shit like that. I think that's probably what got me, like, in, in, in. Like, the way I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be doing this forever, not, like, just to do, you know, just a little get fresh for here and there. Right. All right, so, I mean, for those who don't know, you know, obviously you've been around for a while. Uh, I think it was, what, 2015, 2014? You got uh, Sneaker Culture, The Plug? Um, I think that was 2015. 14. I think it was, was 15. 15. Yep, I 15. think it was 15. Sneaker 15. Culture Award, The Plug. So, yeah. I mean, for a while, all sneaker news filtered through you. So, tell us about your story, man, from, from beginning to now. Um, just, like, around that same time, like, I was always in the whole information game like from the beginning like it was back when around like 2000 when east bay books was like hot but the this the, the temperature of them was who had them first so it's like whoever could bring them to school first put them on a lunch table like i was i was like and you know east bay would send them to you first if you ordered some shit so like they used to have contests back then where you would like write your little letters and all that type of stuff so i would order something in my name like little, a headband or something like that i would order something in my name my brother's name my mother's name and my father's name so i would have like three or four books at any point in time and i would always have them before everybody else like i would start the mailbox every day when i came home from school and um that's pretty much what i was into like that thrill like when you slapped it on a, a lunch table like everybody knew what it was so i was always into the information game of it so i kind of like just kept up with it it was a uh from there leading on to like late teens a lot of people don't know it's a uh, nike showroom in columbia maryland not too far from baltimore like 15 20 minutes out so 
I don't want to get nobody in trouble because a couple <laughs> of them still work there. But, you know, they was letting a lot of samples fly. I can say coach name. Coach ain't going to get in trouble. But um, it's an old white guy named Coach. Coach about to retire. But uh, Coach would let those samples fly. Yeah. No, that's not trash. Yeah, all that, all, all that's going. Um, coach would let her, coach would let them things fly. Like you had sample sales some Saturdays and all type of stuff. But it was kind of low key. But if you was in there, you knew. Like if you knew, you knew. So right. it was pretty much that was pretty much the game, you know. And then that was another way of getting in front of everything. Like you know, having samples. Luckily. I was like eight and a half, nine around the time, so I could wear a bunch of the shit. So that was a, you know, just early game. But that's, you know, me and my buddies. That's all we really did. Oh, I mean, still to this day. So right. kind of just led on to different ventures and different things, and started the sneaker show in 2010. Um, and to be real, the Yeezy kind of made me want to do like the sneaker show because the Yeezy dropped in '09. And then the Louis Vuitton uh, Kanye joints was a couple months after that. So a lot of my people, like me, I didn't care, but a lot of my people would get them. And it was like, yo, these are collectible. We want to show these off. And then for that and other reasons, you know, I started the show. Um, I went to Sneaker Pimps. Sneaker Pimps was came here about 2006, seven ish It was just one time they ever was here. And they were downtown. And I only caught like the last maybe hour or so of it. And I just saw, I'm like, damn, this is this is crazy. Like, I think I could do this by myself. And then, you know, here we are. Dope. So I gotta ask, man, because you had like all the early release joints, like whatever mm -hmm. you said came to fruition. Like, how did you how'd you get that information, the pictures? How'd you foster those relationships? Uh, just throughout the years, like starting with the sample sales and going from there, like I was, I wasn't really too fond of the online stuff until I started the sneaker show. So I wasn't really online with it much, because I mean, even back then you had your Nike talks and Soul Collector forums, and I remember it was this one form where like you could even battle each other or something, like you would get some votes. I don't remember what that was. You had to ask my brother Roy about that. Um. But uh, you had stuff like that, but like my uh, my partner, my brother Roy um, at L Seven O S E R Loser, he was like really in touch online with it. So if I would get some samples, I'd be like, "Yo, come over." Um, you know, at one point we lived in the same house, so it was like, you know, it was it, it was I'd be like, "Yo, throw these up, like see what people say," and he'd throw them up. And, you know, we'd get a little response and stuff like that. So from there on, uh, you know, people would hit them back like, yo, I'm from out Cali, I'm from China, and this, this, and that. So for me, it would muster up more and more info and stuff like that. Like, and at, at probably my peak, I probably would have, like, 12 different people for different things. Like, some people that work internally at Nike, some people at retailers, Still, some people out Columbia at the showroom. You know, different. It, it never was like, I, it was all me. It would be right. me filtering a lot of stuff through different people. And uh, some stuff, they would kind of, when Nike kind of got hit, they would kind of throw a little shit in there mm -hmm. just to see, like, what would leak out. Right. So that, like, it, it, me or anybody else would kind of, like, leak some shit, and then it'd get out. But it wouldn't be nothing that ever really came came mm -hmm. out. So I kind of had to start filtering through that right, shit, too. Right, right. Try to find but, a mole. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, they trying to find a mole, but they never got it from me. Um, <laughs> I still I still got a bunch of shit, but, you know, I'm on a different dynamic right now. So Right, right. Um, I don't really care no more. I kind of use it to my advantage in other ways, but that's a whole nother story. Uh-uh. Right. So, I mean, you went, like you were talking about, at your peak in all those different connects, and then it seemed like, poof, you were gone. So so what happened there? What brought mm -hmm. about the hiatus, and then... A you know, couple so things. So like, I had... Um, I was getting some calls from three different... Well, calls and emails from three different companies 
wanting to do different things. Like, I didn't want to, I'm not going to really put them out there, but of course, Under Armour was one of them. And from there, like, I did it before the Wizard, though I wouldn't post for a long time and stuff like that. They was like, yeah, we, we, we need that again. I'm like, what you mean? Like, because, you know, when you come back or whatever it was, you know, you'll be coming back kind of like on the U.A. side. I'm like, yeah, that's that's kind of a good deal. And then not too far, as, not too, like around that time, I started kind of this new venture, this new business venture that took like all of my time, like a lot of it. So I couldn't even keep up. Like I would be away from, you know, on my phone for hours and hours and hours. So, you know, unless you really hawking it, because you got to think, you know, so many people in so many different time zones, I literally wouldn't be able to get sleep a lot. So, and that, and there's some other drama, you know, that I that I got myself into. And then, you know, dealing with, dealing with UA, they was like, yeah, man, we, we, we just going to get past that so we can get to the future. So I'm like, yeah, that's good. Like, that was pretty much it. And uh, it was just when I had, did the Yeezy thing, the, uh, with the, the 650s and all that, that was like, I was getting the actual phone calls from people in like corporate offices. From Adidas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wanting some yeah. answers. Yeah, they wanted a lot of answers. They want names. Uh, yeah, they, <laughs> they want a lot of stuff. I couldn't yeah. give it to them, though. That's not nah. me. That's not That's me. Up. But uh, that was like the la- that was like the peak. Right. That was like the real peak. And that's when I was like, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have to chill on this for a second. Like, yeah, I'm going to have to chill on that. But it was a lot of different stuff at one time. All right. So, I mean, explain the whole uh, Under Armour collaboration a little bit more because, I mean, if I'm uh, not mistaken, wasn't mm-hmm. a big fan of the brand initially, although that that's home. That's, that's home. That's Baltimore, I, yeah, right? I wasn't. I was not. No, I was not. And um, they were hitting me after my show in 16. Heavy, like hard, like real heavy. It was actually hit my business partner, Ronnie, Big Ronnie. And I was like, nah, man. Like, you already know. I was like, nah, I'm good on the Under Armour shit. Like, <laughs> and I mean, this is going on for months. And then my buddy, his uh, brother, got a job there. His little brother. He Chris? Was like, yo, you got, yeah, little Chris got the job yeah. there. And um, he was like, yo, you got to do it for little Chris. And I'm like, Chris got a job down there? He's like, yeah. I'm like. Yeah, we got to do it now. Like, I'm like, I don't know how the fuck we're going to do this. I don't know how we're going to do it. I said, but I'm down for the ride. So we went down in a meeting and a um, couple couple big wigs there. Um, they pretty much said it just from out the jump. Like, man, you know, we want to get the hometown thing buzzing. We know you pretty much, you know, you a bash is real crazy. But think about if you had your own product. I was like, whoa. <laughs> You know, I never had my own, you know, you know, collab or nothing like that or partnership or however you want to spin it. So I'm like, you know, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. And then, you know, after a couple months, you know, we made something, something good happen. And it's pretty much, you know, we're still there. A couple right. people that were a part of it aren't there anymore. But, you know, we're still there. We're still rocking. Yeah, true. So, what kind of like creativity? What kind of free reign did you have as far as choosing the product and the design? It was pretty. It was pretty free. We pretty much did. Um, me and my guys came up with the whole pack thing, and you know what was going to be exclusive for the show, what was mm-hmm. going to restock, and all of that. We pretty much had free reign, and um, some of the designers that were already there, because the sling rod and the slingshot were already models that they right. already had. And they were actually moving on to uh, different models. So technically the models were old. So we right. was like, you know, we want to bring, we kind of want the challenge. So, you know, those models were kind of derailing a little bit. Mm-hmm. So we was like, yeah, we can yeah, we can take that. We can do something with it. And, it's, you know, it just kind of just went from there. A um, couple things were magic. Like uh, the first, because we had the seven for seven for the show. They love all six, but the masterpiece. Hmm. Like we literally had to fight for the masterpiece. No lie, they hate. They didn't like it. They didn't really see the vision in it. Like they didn't see it. Like they didn't see like. And I had to like really like get real aggressive about it. Like, look, <laughs> we can't do this. We can't do nothing. And then you hmm. know it ended up working out for the better. 
And, um, you know, I pretty much broke down how we going to switch up, you know, the shoe. We're going to make X amount of shoes like this. We're going to make X amount of just like this. When they come in, we're going to swap them, same size, and then go from there. So they pretty much mm-hmm. liked it. Uh, it was actually Chris's idea for the 3M laces. Oh, yeah, that was a um, Yeah, and we kind of went there. Like, uh, you know, it was just, it was pretty good. You know, we did a little bit of merch for the uh I was going to say, the show. I saw the, uh, the 3M jacket. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we, we still got other <laughs> different stuff. But, uh, yeah, throughout the way, it was it was pretty good. It was it was definitely a good ride, especially for round one. That was right. a real good ride, man. But well, that leads me to my next question. So that's, that's uh-huh. the first collab. Is there something up, something in the works? It's always something in the works. It's always <laughs> something in the works. It's just which one we pick, you know. Okay. That's, yeah, it, it's always something in the works. They gonna give you that big always. boy. They gonna give you that four. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't confirm or deny that. Listen, man. But, I got. Uh, some, I got some people out there too. I'm knocking on the door, like, yo, just let me touch one. Let me get one. I promise. <laughs> that's man. I'm telling you, man. This is. I'm actually when we got there. When we got to the company, the four was like 80% done. Mm. Like the high was 100% done and the low was like almost, almost done. Right. And then uh, I was like, this is the one. And they were like, you're not just saying that just because <laughs> I'm like, you know me, like if I didn't like it, right. you know, I wouldn't say it. But I'm like, yeah, this is the one. This is the one that's going to turn yeah. some people around. And around this time, they were gung ho about our uh, our design. I'm like, yeah, hmm. this four, you know, you do this right. Right. This this this, this is gonna be the one. And this is way before, you know, we got the Trump on and or see them in person. We just seeing uh-huh. like, you know, the prototypes and stuff come mm-hmm. through. This is about like January, February. And they right. showed us and I was like, yeah, this is the one. Yeah, I see you promoting it heavy. Listen, I'm telling you like legit, like you know what I'm saying? Like, you see that? Like, I'm working back here. So, <laughs> yeah, like, yo, they give me one. Keep it up. I see. I see. Don't 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 show too many people what you did with that circle. I nah, see what you did yeah, with the you circle. You like that, that right? Fast. You like that, yeah, right? Yeah, so you peep yeah, that real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah, man. Yeah. I got about four designs right now that'll that'll literally jump off the shelf. Man, so do for, do forty. <laughs> hey, I'll do. I'll, they bound to like one. Do time. forty. Yep. I mean, you better listen. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be popular. I got like I got like a hundred. <laughs> I got like so what, you, so what you're up, saying is you know? I gotta catch up. <laughs> yeah, man. You gotta keep it going. Like every time you see something, like yeah, I got a, I got five ideas alone on the mouthpiece. Damn, so you peep that so real you, quick. You, you, you peep that real yeah. quick. I'll give you that one. Cause you... Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's it's definitely the one. Like it's the company going through a lot of transition right now. I mm-hmm. can't really speak too much on that. But uh including us. Um uh, and I really like, you know, the, the 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 lane that they going towards. Like, it's really, it's really dope. Like, they really trying to get a lot of things geared towards people of our influence. Like right. the stuff that we like, you know, right. the stuff that you know we're drawn towards. They're trying to get towards that. Like, you know, they getting in front of, you know, the quality control. You know, with the white and black release, they were real hard on that. Um, made sure that. You know, the people got some product that, you know, was good, you know, and it was good right. quality. And they did real good with the champ pack, kind of with the whole shaking it up and, you know, making you go around in jewelry. I see you. I see you. I see you. You know, um, I believe I, I believe they're going in a real good direction, man. I'm like, I'm really uh, I'm really a fan yeah, outside of being a partner. I'm really a fan of the brand right now. No, that's what's up. Yeah, man. The part, the uh, the stance collab. Oh yeah, I got, I, I got all of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got a couple. I can't, I, well, you know the deal. You got a couple you can't show, but that one's already. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I got a break few that one out. That I can't show. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, uh, listen, the, the, that one the Christmas though, one though. That, that one. Christmas, yo, there you go. That one. That Christmas. That Christmas. Everybody lost. If he can beat, attention. if they can beat the Cavs with him wearing them on Christmas, that's, that's right. big. That's all I can really say. We got a, we got a big cast fan in the building too, so I'll, I'll let Kev chime oh, yeah. in on that one in a bit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, um, yeah. But uh, I, I I like what they're doing though. I like what's going on with the four, the drive four low is pretty good. Um, uh, it's a lot of stuff with UAS they got going on that's pretty dope. I'm I'm yeah. like I said, I'm definitely a fan of what's going on. Just I like sitting back. Like now, um, I'm not too forward on. 
even though I could, I'm not too forward on getting looks and stuff early and all that. I just wait till they present it to me. Right. And then, like, I just like sitting back. Like, now I'm in the, the other side of the fence, just sitting back and seeing what's going on. That's what's up. So, what, what's, what are your thoughts about the culture right now and, the, like, the direction of the sneaker game, the sneaker culture? What, do you, what are your thoughts? Uh, it has its pros and its cons. I think it's at the strongest that it can be. We had the most options now that we probably ever had. Like, this time, what, five, six years ago, we had to just take whatever Nike gave us. You know, I still, you know, get stuff from everywhere, like just about almost every brand. And now it's like, you know, people uh, people got options. Like we have options. A lot of stuff has shelf life now. So mm-hmm. you don't really got to kill each other too bad, you know, <laughs> for lack of better words. <laughs> but uh, like every brand has something. Like everybody has like one or two things that's decent that you can really go out and mm-hmm. really touch. And it's no real brand wise i mean of course nike is always going to be king but it's not like they were king of the castle as they were like in 2011 2012 and stuff right. like that to where as though you own that's all you could that's the only good stuff you could really get was nike for the most part right nike and jordan brand so um it's exciting a of, it's exciting. a lot of competition to your point i mean because yeah. you figured 2015 ua had their run you know they gave yeah. it to them uh, sending right. with Curry and then obviously with Yeezy, mm-hmm. with Kanye, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, dipped into that wallet share. And then you, yeah. know, you talked about things having shelf life and being available. Right. Seems like a lot of that's going to change next year, though. Not too much. Don't Not believe too much? the hype Uh-oh. too much. Don't believe it? It's, All right. Don't believe. I mean, there's still a lot of surprise stuff. Still going to be a lot of surprise stuff. Right. Year, but well, we actually... It's, it's, it's going to be pretty still close to 2017 a bit. Hmm. From what I see, from what I know. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's we're, we're going to actually talk about that a little later on, but I'll pause the, uh, the interview here and see if anyone on the panel has any other questions. Okay. Let them unmute. What's going on, man? I got a I, this is Buckeye here. I got a question uh, because you mentioned something about the, uh, the Yeezy thing. You kind of mm-hmm. elaborate on that without getting anybody in trouble, because I'm not. I was like, hold on, what 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 happened with the six fifty? You talking about the six fifty and the complex stuff? And yeah, all that? yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> I mean, take it. Hey, take your time so you don't get yourself. You know what I'm saying? But like, if there's any way you can kind of like just. Um, some people got ahead, very ahead of some like prototype stuff. Okay. And they, um, sadly, they wanted to filter it through me. And I don't know if you remember around that time, but that was the week of the Kyrie ice cream truck. Uh, that was the week of the, uh, uh, damn, you know, trophy room release. So at the opening and all that. So not only was you know our busy well it was flight 23 was open in here at my dorm it was a lot of stuff going on in that week and i didn't really have too much time to think but i'm like man that's too hot i'm not touching that and they're like well well how much can we get all off of them and i'm like yo I, i'm not touching that like i don't know if i want to deal with that and they like you know what we just gonna sit on them but we don't have no followers or nothing like that like you gonna post them i'm like that's tough. Uh, I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Just, you know, <laughs> I, w- I, I I like, just send me what you got. Mm-hmm. And then I had it for about a week, and I was just, like, going slow. I was just slow feeding everybody with it. I remember being in Orlando seeing all the – it was so many people at the trophy room release, like, and I was just down there at Dolo, and I was just, like, walking around and stuff. Like, just, you know, saying what's up with people. I ain't had nothing to do. Right. But – um meeting a couple people for the first time and they like yo what else you got like and i just remember like showing people on my iphone like before i post it like yo that's crazy <laughs> it was real cool uh i didn't personally like any of them okay i think the all black with the translucent uh boost uh with the translucent uh joint so it could show you the boost right that was pretty cool i think was that the 650 or something like that i don't even really remember that one was cool, but I didn't personally like any of them. 
So my man was like, yo, you posted them. You know, we got, we did what we had to do. Like, thank you. And he wanted to give me that one pair that, you know, that I want. I'm like, he like, yo, these are your size. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. Yo. I, I, don't want, I don't know where you got that from. I don't want no parts of that. Yes. I'm like, they, they would love to. They would love to hang me on a cross for that one. Yeah, show, you know, show up at your door. Goods or something like that. <laughs> like they would love to hang me upside down from the cross for that. So I feel um, that. You know, it was just some stuff. Good and for you. I, heard, I would have took them. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't do it. it, it, it yeah, was, good for you. I got, enough, I got enough stuff going on with me, man. Yeah, I don't nah, need good. nothing extra. I don't need nothing extra. They might have uh, got me on that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought about it. And I was actually in Orlando when he told me, like, and I was like, I was sitting there. I'm like, no, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I'm glad uh, you at least thought twice because I should. I yeah, I, first, I, I, thought, be like, I thought I thought fifty times. I'm about I was about to like, say because no, I'm, I'm like, wow, that's some willpower. Yeah, I would have had I would have had somebody I, I, hold him until it got quiet. Yeah, I, I thought about it, and I actually, he, he, I think he is still trying to hold him for me. But I'm like, no. mm. like, but yeah, I'm, at this I'm point. good, man. But uh, I'm not gonna say his name, but somebody from. Somebody from Adidas camp was like, "Yo, Kanye's people like they so pissed. They they and remember the the, the order of stuff that I was saying like mm. they was out in Cali with it. Mm-hmm. I'm in Baltimore on Thursday, I believe. I'm on Baltimore. I'm on I'm in Baltimore on Friday. I'm in, I'm in I think like DC Saturday. And then I'm in Orlando Sunday." And then they're like, yo, like, you in these different places, and the shoes was from Cali, like, somebody needs some answers. I'm like, I, ain't got <laughs> I just saw some pictures <laughs> just drop in my, my, my drop box, like, I can't help Boom. you. Like, well, we're going to need to know the origin. I'm like, I, I, I can't do that for you, like, yeah. you know, I can't do it. But just know a, a big guy to do this. Uh, he, he ain't quiet. Like, he, I mean, it, it was no bad blood, but I, you know, pretty right. much told him, like, he offered me Yeezys for life and all that. And I was like, oh. no, I can't. But yeah. I still got the text yeah, message. Yeah, because then, then you'd have to snitch. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm good. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm all right. I'm good. That's what's up. It, it, was enough going on, I mean, it was enough going on with me the way as though I couldn't do either or. Like, mm-hmm. I wasn't about to tell on nobody, but I also wasn't about to handle like, him neither. Like, yeah. I was better being in the place that I was already at. Like, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I like, that. I already posted them. And it wasn't even really for... It was just fun. It was just really <laughs> fun. Like, I wasn't even really looking for no... I definitely wasn't looking for Complex to pick it up or nothing. But <laughs> me and one of the writers of Complex was uh pretty tight at the time. I don't know if he still writes for Complex, but uh he picked up everything. Like, everything I tweeted, he would throw it on Complex and stuff like that. That's what's up. So let me ask you. Let me ask you this question, kind of off off topic of, of uh, shoes or anything. Are you a, are you a Ravens fan or a Redskins fan? Ravens. Ravens. Okay. So I mean, what? So what? So what's our chance? I'm a Ravens fan too. I see the, what's see the fitted. What's our, what's, yeah, our, see the fitted. what's our chances this year, man? In making the playoffs. Bullshit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm gonna say that because. Um, it leads deep, deep back to the super to the year before the Super Bowl year. I don't know if a lot of people remember, but you're a fan, so you probably remember. Um, we lost to the Patriots AFC Championship. Yep. Flacco came to the table. He like, man, I want to be top five. Right. They laughed at him. They was like, what? We're not giving you no top five money. He like, look, I'm trying to give y'all the chance to give me eighty to eighty five right now. Yeah. They was like, no, there's no way we can give you 80. We, we haven't did shit. We yeah. ain't got nothing. <laughs> they like, man, we got you all these weapons. Y'all couldn't win up at Foxborough. We ain't giving you nothing. He was like, all right. And I remember, like, one of my guys was telling me, like, before it even aired on TV or on the news, he was like, yo, Flacco came in there wanting to be top five. I was <laughs> like, yeah, it's I saw the vision though. Yeah. I was like, yeah, that, that's about right, paper wise. I'm like, you could put him at number five. I think Drew Brees was number five at the time. Or uh, I don't remember. Uh, it was either Rivers or Brees. One of them was at, at five yearly. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, because you still had the Peyton Mannings, the, you know, Tom Brady's and all that. And um, he was like, 
Flacco wanted that bread be for Russell Wilson and Kaepernick and all them guys because they were hot at the time. Right. He wanted to get paid before they got paid. Right. So they laughed at him. So he was trying to get 80, 85. So they told him, he was like, well, look, what can I do to be top five? Go win the Super Bowl and be Super Bowl MVP. <laughs> Flacco walked out like, okay. And then drained the Came team. Came back to the table. <laughs> now, now Flacco want what a buck twenty? He got like yep. a buck twenty yeah. or something. Bananas. They could have saved. They could have saved forty million. We could have kept our offense and we'd have been sweet. Yep. But you know the money yeah. got to go somewhere. That's why mm-hmm. I'm the only person in the world not mad at Flacco. Cause you gotta bet yeah, you gotta yourself. get you gotta get your bread, but at the you same gotta point, bet on yourself. As it's, a, it's as definitely a, killing our team. Yeah, as a fan, I'm offense. like, man, come on, man. <laughs> you gotta see it from both sides. Like, yeah, businessman and all that. Like, you gotta see it from both sides, and I'm not too mad at him. I get, I only get mad at him on Sundays. Oh yeah, I'll be, <laughs> I'll, be but, uh, I'll be hot at Flacco. Yeah, I definitely be. But the I'll running, the running game's coming back, but you know. And the defense is looking. So. The, de- the defense is. Well, <laughs> the defense is solid. The defense we, we, we looks good. good this year. Best player is Tucker. <laughs> yeah, of course. Le- Legatron. He might be our best yeah. player of all yeah. time. Oh yeah, he's the only one that scores some player. Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tucker. That's, if, you, if you're going against, guy. if you're going against Tucker and Baltimore's defense and fantasy, you're like, damn, that's forty right there. It's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got, I got both. It's of them. forty points, right? Yeah, I tried to. You lucky if you lucky if Tucker don't get a fifty yarder. Yeah, you're lucky because he's gonna get a 50 yard of 55 at least every other game, win, lose, or draw. So, I mean, that's that's where we at right now. Until we can fizzle out that contract from Flacco, that's yeah. pretty much where our fate is gonna be is in his contract. Yeah, lose got Ray, so much I'll bread. <laughs> mm, Wayne, Wayne, Wayne acknowledging Ray right now. Oh, <laughs> we're not acknowledging Ray right now. Which, which Ray um, are you talking about? Yeah, we we. Uh, Ray Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis, mm-hmm. yeah. We're not I'm talking, Ray, Ray. I'm talking about Ray Rice. The double kneel. Oh, Ray Rice. No, I'm talking yeah. about Ray Rice. Losing Ray Rice ain't help. Losing Ray Rice. Yeah, that That's was That's my tough. Rutgers brother right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ray Rice. He'd he still be around, though. He'd still be around. But, I mean, I wish it didn't play out like that. Yeah, me but, too. Yeah, that was rough. You know, Ray Rice was a tough one, man. If his hips wasn't messed up. Oh, that that fourth and twenty nine, man. That was that yeah. was one of the, the the great that right that no lie. Like, of course, I think the Ravens gonna win every year, but that fourth and twenty nine against San Diego, I'm like, yeah, we winning it this year. Yeah, like I don't know, it, like you could really like go all the way back to my Instagram post and all that. Like from right there, I'm like, yeah, we winning it this year. Like we got it. Right. Right. Is anybody else, y'all? Uh, anybody else on the panel got any questions, or y'all want to move to? Pickups. We'll go to releases. All right. We're going to releases? Well, I don't first. see Dan there, so I don't want to do pickups. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Give me a second. Let me pull up the pickups. All right. Let me go ahead, ahead. Let me no go ahead and lock you in there. Yeah, and let me see if I can switch over to my uh, my joint. All right. You locked. Whole lot coming out. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Fourth quarter. So, looking at... Looks like tomorrow we got the Travis Scott Air Force One low coming out. I ain't feeling them, man. They're too. Listen, I saw them in person. They not bad. Yeah, I'm good. I, I heard they all right. You know, you, you can remove it. They got different swoops. So I mean, can you put... could. I mean, it, that's. I mean, it's basic to me. I mean, it's. It's too much going on for me. It's a. It's a canvas joint. Got the got the gum sole. You got the mm-hmm. like the, the, the fluorescent panels. The piping. I mean. You got the upside down hill tab. You got like to have interchangeable swooshes. You got to come harder than that, in my opinion. But um, just what are they? Are they one fifty like or two hundred? What are one fifty? Like one fifty? Oh, no. Same as the rock. I'm straight. So let's see. Good on those. Then we got the these olive boots that are coming out. <sighs> no. And I, I really wish they were <laughs> the olive. I mean, you know, um, I'm, I'm with you. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't know why they want to make a sneak into a boodle. But I, I really wish they released least the olives. Yeah. I'm definitely um, um, I'm still, I'm, I want to like them. I'm, and I'm, and I'm 60, 40 on liking them. But that's definitely going to be an outlet, fella. I was about to say, that, see, that's an outlet. I see too, where they're they trying to go. For, for the low, you like best. I see where they're trying to go. And that's pretty much the best you're going to get from a sneaker into a boot. 
I agree. But it's still not uh, like you still don't really want to be gung ho and get them. Yeah, right. it's like it's got like some extra on it, like a like a like a one with a jump man on the tongue. Like it's just it, it's, you know, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not all the way really there. All right, and then we got these Lebrons, the new heights. This is the one I was feeling from the jump because yeah. I, I, I like, I like, I like them. I like them. I, yeah, I these like are them. dope. These are dope. I like them. I really I, like them. I don't see anything flawed about them. I yeah, like I them. Think, yeah, they're they're definitely dope. And I mean, they're great, have you tried them on? Balling. I bought in them. I know you did. I, I I've never worn. Do you know you have you had them on before? Yeah, the uh. The GR one, the last one, what's that? The I don't know what it's called. The ashes, the ash, like the ash, uh, yeah, ash, Pride of Ohio. yeah, 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 yeah. The ash joints, yeah, they they hard to get on, but they cool. They're easier to get they on not, than the 14s, though. The 14s are harder, I think. Bro, I got those 14s. I, I got days. the mag joints. I was like, yeah, these are dope. I never tried them on. I sent them back to Nike. They sat for about a month in the corner. I'm like, I will never ever wear these. I kept them. If I didn't, yeah, I needed the out of nowhere joints. And those I, really I, those I would have put on. That was the one. That remember, was the one. If I remember, couldn't get that. Remember y'all said that. That was a dope. I don't remember nothing. Yeah, you remember <laughs> what you just said. I'll go ahead and play that. Nothing. I'll play that right. back for you. <laughs> you won't have a chance. I'll strike that from the memory. <laughs> all right, then we then we got these Vapor Max laceless coming out. We got the black all black pair, and we got the all white pair. Ken's right. Coles. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Let me put you some could... la- Let me let me put some laces in them. And, I mean, they would look just face... like the blackout ones, but I I just can't do laceless. Probably sneakers. some Stacey Adams. Right. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm good. Steve Harvey. <laughs> then we got, we got Dan new favorite shoe, the KD10. We got a multicolor. Man. I actually like these a lot. It's, yeah, it's, I, li- it's too bad. I like them. I like them. Yeah, they're kind of dope. I'm, I kind of like that. I'll draw a cupcake or a snake on the side. I don't care what the hell y'all want to call them. Them shit's dope. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna say I, 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 can't, I can't. I can't allow myself to to like them. I mean, they're not bad. Why? They're not. They're not bad. I just don't. I, I don't know, man. It's just. You must be know. biased against KD. I'm about to oh, say yeah. that don't make no sense. Oh, I'm, I'm biased against all the Warriors. Oh yeah, I can't stand <laughs> the Warriors. I Especially stop hating. And no hate. I can dig it. You I talking? Hey, hate. Molly talking about stop hating and then be killing LeBron. Details. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Always on LeBron too. Then we got these flying their trainers olive colorway coming out. Banger. Banger. I like them. Olive, like them? I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for olive when it's not. So you gonna cut them boots? <laughs> yeah. Is, I, I like it. I'm all the way on it. Olive is a dope colorway. They need to put it on more shoes for sure. Then we got these <clears throat> these SB Dunk ugly Christmas sweaters. I'm I'm still on the fence about these. I kind of like them a you little only bit. Wear, you only wear them like two three times a year, right. top. Cause I got right. those I got those uh, Christmas Agassiz, and like mm-hmm. I might wear them to like uh, uh, Christmas Eve, and then that's about it. Cause I ain't wearing them things any other time. I mean, I, I like, like and I and I like I, I like them. I like them. I mean, Yo, I want the box them. Usually, I want you, the usually, box. usually follow up suck. This one usually better than last year. Follow ups are pretty bad, but I like it. Yeah, I think this one better than the one last year. I definitely think this one's better. Yeah. Usually, yeah. Just, just off of the just off of the simple fact that usually follow ups are terrible. That mm-hmm. one is that that's a good one. I just feel like I feel like dunks. Like you get excited because you know, all right, this is it's a cool looking dunk or whatever. Then you get them. And then you have them for like months, and then you don't never wear them. Like, like yeah. why did I buy these things? Right, right. Uh, I get that all the time. I mean, I say that about ninety percent of the shoes in my in my stash, man. I don't get to wear yeah. them. I, I mean, I typically I mean, of course, you can say that we about all got two hundred pair of shoes. But you I, ain't gonna wear them. But I oh. typically don't say that about like my Jordans. My Jordans, I, I'll rock, or if I have them, I'm cool with having them. But like, you know, when I step outside of my comfort zone and I go and get a dunk or something like that, I'm like, man, where, good, where am I gonna wear these? Right. Uh it ain't, ain't gonna be too much longer, yo. All right. So then next up, we got the the, the what the Kyrie's. Oh, you already know. Yeah, we already yeah, know. Yeah, we know. Even, what, so when did they come it's out? Because uh, I thought they were already out. No, they yeah, were just come out. Well, they came out in Sneak Easy in New York. So they had um, the full locker RSVP for that. 
And then they were supposed to come out the first, but then they got pushed back to the eighth. They let the kids rock on the first. These will come out on the eighth. Cause I, I hit them up because I, I figured I seen on the uh, app that they were available, and I was like, well, shit, let me check. And it's tough. It, it, it's tough to like them. You yeah. really hate the. <laughs> I definitely. I think they got the mashup perfectly, but color wise, yeah, they could have done something. I'm different. not there. Like I'm like, not mad then, at him though, because if you think like old school cast him, colors, you know, with the opening night for him giving us that that all black one, that all black one was tough. So yeah. for get yeah. going from that to that one in that picture, and then that other one in like that Detroit Lions color, it's like oh, like the shoe is crazy enough. Yeah, like mm-hmm. you don't yeah. gotta really go all the way that OD with him, but well, I, mean, I, think, I respect it. I, I like uh, I like these. I like the hits. I like these compared to the fours. Like if they would have done this as a four, I probably would have bought a couple pair because it. Oh, as the four model. Yeah, the four model I don't okay. like at all. I mean, it's like kind of like still early. See, we're sitting for like forty eight hours. It's, yeah, gotta, about to say. Gotta, uh, but it looks like it looks it looks just like photo. it looks just like the one. I mean, he's come out a little higher. I know what you're saying. I mean, but it's the same thing though, man. It, it just, does have this they just, build of the one. Yeah, they just dragged they just dragged it out a little bit longer. I mean, yeah. they, mm-hmm. they put it in the microwave real quick, and then all right. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say it's bad though. It's 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 definitely a lot of potential. You yeah, can get and you, it was form. real basic colorway. I learned a long time ago back with the Kobe eights not to trust like the early photos. You can't you can't trust early. Yeah, nah. but, I mean yeah, they're, they're, they're coming out. I, I, I they're coming out the twenty first. My favorite line. They're coming out the twenty first or whatever. I mean, so they're getting close yeah. to. I mean, they they're yeah. already made already. Which is which so, is why you'll see more and more photos, but that'll mean that's the final. I mean, product. but it's lazy, dude. I mean, just like the KD, like the KD from the last one to this one. I mean, basically, it's almost still the not same much. Shoe. What was that yeah. LeBron? What LeBron was that that looked real real crazy? The soldier fourteen. No, it wasn't no, the, the soldier. soldier. No, there was an early photo where it, it might have been like the fifteens. What they the said 15, it looked like boots the 15s, and all this other jazz. The 15s and the and the 14s look different though. A lot. I think it was an early photo of the 15s where they looked really, really crazy, and the final product was much better. It was the 15s. Are we, talk, are we talking about the Kyrie four? Yeah, but they yeah, actually have pictures the of the photos. Kyrie four. They have like mate. I've seen two colorways already. Those potato pictures look rough. <laughs> Man, you done brought some static on the line or something. Yeah, brother. I did. Yeah. 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 You got on. We got static. I don't know. Maybe it's that Dino. Moving. Is it me? It might be. Oh, it might be. Okay, it's gone now. All right. All right. So you went to Kroger's right quick. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna move on to the flop of the week. Wow. <laughs> Eleven win the like ninety six. The Ben had those. Yeah. Shoot out the shoot out of sit on shelves all the rest of this holiday season. Only only in Dallas. Only in Dallas. Right. Of course. Right. Of course. Yeah, that, I don't think that shoe is going to sit. I think it's going to be the same thing as the Space Jam. So everybody. Yeah, I'm being sarcastic, man. I'm being sarcastic. Oh. <laughs> we got to watch out. You already know how you do. Yeah, Dallas, like, you sit. Everything's in Dallas. You can get them at the gas <laughs> station here. <laughs> you can probably, you probably can get them at the gas station. Shit. Ma, you say that shit every week, and I prove you. I prove to you every week that it sits. Nah, so, brother. So, so just lay off of it. I mean, that's it's old now. I, I showed you. T- I showed you when the eighty two. When the eighty twos, I showed. I sent you pics with a full we size run. You. So it don't matter what Ooh. you believe. It's you show me. You but, show me our pick, and that looked like a size fifteen. Look like the last one. They dude, had it was a full size run. run. But you Come know on, what? Man. I mean, Nike's starting to trickle sell everything now. I mean, like yes, sir. You know, they, they'll drop but it that's and then that's put, how they supposed to pull it. Pull it back in. Drop it again, like those um, those Air Max ninety seven. Like they just kept dropping. I'm like, all right, right, man. I wanted them, and then I got to the point where I, was like, I don't even want these things anymore. Right, and then the eighty the twos. I mean, they were sitting, and dude told me, yeah, we got a restock coming on Thursday. This was a Tuesday. <laughs> they were sitting. We got a restock coming on Thursday. So, I mean, it's going up. Don't hate because I'm in a city where I can pick up kicks after they drop. Not like yourself. <laughs> don't be mad about it. Save your breath, bro. Save your breath. You sound like you got four more words in you. We don't be mad about it. <laughs> is, 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 was that it? That's it. That's all we got. That, uh, me, is that it? The finale so. with the eleven. So now we're gonna go to to the weekly pickups. I'm gonna start right. first. You go ahead. Ooh, I'm I'm, I'm actually jump off and then jump on my laptop. See if the sound quality is better. Yeah, we we know you got to go somewhere where you can show all seventy five. Uh, 
Hey fellas, I'm 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 about to be out. I got I got to make something no, happen real quick. All right, man. No doubt. All right, bye, please be but no problem. I, yeah. I, I come back whenever you need me. All right, All right man. No Thanks, any, man. Any, any, any closing uh, words? Any shout outs? Uh, stay tuned. That's all I can say. <laughs> there stay it is. Tuned. All right. All right. There it is. <laughs> so y'all take it easy. All right, All man. Right, peace. Peace. I appreciate it. All right. All right. So I'll go ahead and start off first. Be right back, fellas. I got a little small run. I'm going to go first. All right. I'll go next. With the. Can y'all see it? With yep. the pigeons. So yeah, I got yeah, most of my stuff I got a little late, you know, but yeah. This this shoe is dope, man. I mean it's almost what he's a day, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But I, I like these. It's a dope shoe. I like the material on it. So it's my like, picture is for tomorrow. That's that's the kind of like that's the kind of shoe that like I like when they first drop and stuff and I get excited to get, but then I get it and I don't wear them. Like Right. Yeah. Then we got these. FBs. Got to pick them up for pick them up on the sneakers app. I think we all pretty much hit yeah, on the team, sneakers app. Team cop. Yeah, we well, all. Daniel already had them. Well, yeah, you know, Daniel had them for about six months or whatever. Wouldn't like Dan. Wouldn't like Dan. Right. Mike didn't get those. Mike didn't get those. No, nah, Mike don't want them. He don't like them. Which I don't understand how you yeah. don't like the shoes. It's and he likes hype, that's and why. he likes red shoes. Hi, yeah, this, hi, this, he love hype. Man, this is an open GR this year. Let it sell out and then go for like five six hundred. Then he'll want. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, once you Jessica, get to that point, they get Jessica Kick says, shout out to North Mesquite High School. I don't know what that is. North oh, Mesquite High School. Is that where you're from? Who's Mesquite High School? Who said that? All right. He says, shout out. Wait, but you, when did you graduate? Like 1932? It was called something else. We're not talking to no years and shit. <laughs> Mount Sinai. <laughs> it was, Who uh, said that? No, for real. I missed it. Who said Jessica that? Kick. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yep, yeah, North Mesquite, that's it. Adrian and said last... that sneakers is racist Ooh. against Android. <laughs> yep. Fuck Android. Go ahead, Marcus. Anyway, hey, you better get an iPad. My, my, my last pickup, a grill off the checklist, the DB2. I, I love yeah. this shoe. I took some pictures in it the other day. Super comfortable, man. I mean. What a shame. Those things, they never going to see the ground. You're crazy. They, uh, they will be out in Vegas. They will uh, be out in Vegas. That'll be oh, yeah. the first time they come out. It might. Special yeah. occasion, buddy. I got, I got I'm gonna find me a I'm gonna find me a clean ass three piece green mm. suit to go with that right there. Oh man, you're gonna look like oh. Judge Joe Mathis. What a, what a yellow tie. <laughs> a yellow tie that bitch, boy. You know, Cedric the Entertainer <laughs> suit. Oh, <laughs> I mean, Steve Harvey like him up. Shoot. That's it. That's all I got. Nothing all else. Right. I'll go, man. I cause I got probably the second least. Um I got these classic dope boy. Reebok hey. compliments him, of gear. City Gear. Nope. Yeah, I don't want to hear no Tito Jackson. T Tito Jackson Supremes. Nah, you know? brother. Yeah, man. But yeah, uh, shout out to City Gear. You can cop these online or in store. Um, <laughs> and then next, I got. Um, I went back and got these. I had them before, but I sent them back. But they weren't on sale at Finish Line, so I got the the Kobe fake PE. Oh wait. Um, I love it. I love it. I What'd really you cop those for? 132. And they're 12 and a half. I couldn't pass wow. it up. The 12 and a halves are, are tough to get. Um, then I got the, I got the Jeter one. Hey. Uh, respect mm -hmm. joints. I mean. Why you say it like that? Hey. Because hey. I think I mean, we all, we all hey. got them. Well, Mark, you didn't get them, did you? Hell no. Nah. Mike didn't get them either. Mike. Mike it's, not, it's not hype enough for Mike. I'm saying. Then I got the um, Beluga Elf 2.0. <coughs> finally, uh, finally got first finally, easy, right? finally, yeah, yeah, yeah my, first easy. It's my first 350. I got 750. Yeah. Oh yeah, you had the uh, 750. My bad. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, these are comfortable. These these things run small. Yeah. I told you that. Yeah. Y'all told you that. Man, no, no, y'all didn't, man. I um, told you. I told you. Ask how do they run? Yeah, they run like I need a 13 in them joints, like quiet as kept. But uh, and then I got uh, I got two pairs of these. I got one from uh Nike, and then the other one from uh, Atlas. Shout out to Atlas. Um, hey, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a dude right there. Yeah, make sure y'all check him out. And then last but not least, I think this is last. Um, my my DB Grail, my favorite. Um, DB four. 
God damn, bro. I need that so bad. Mm. Are we are we are we uh sure of the authenticity? Yeah, man. Yeah. Sure. I don't yeah, know about that, the look of your face. Were they DF uh, when you got them? No. That uh-huh. afro looked like a jerry curl. Yeah, I mean like and, and that's uh that's usually a good sign is when they're not DS. Like it's uh finding the DS pair that are like in your magnificent. price range and be like, hold up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Mess. Yeah, you know, no, that's, that's that's a dope yeah. cop, man. That's a super. Dope yeah, they're cop. they're my they're my favorite DB. So uh, moved up the list on that one. Yeah. <laughs> how many DBs? How many DBs that put you in now? You got I the threes, the I fours. Got, I got five, and I got one on the way. You got another DB on the way. Yeah. He ain't gonna tell us. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I told y'all. I told y'all. Twelve. You got oh, seven. Oh yeah, I got I got one on the way. It'll be here tomorrow. What? Yeah. Oh, right. what well, you have? You got a twelve. Better, better give me. Uh, all right, I got one, two, the three, six. Three, 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 all right, three. so Ma's last. So, Why gotta be last? Because you got the most, motherfucker. <laughs> all right, so I'll go. I got the UNC um, things, and I bought these on accident. To be one hundred percent honest, like it wasn't my intent to buy them, but I went to um, Foot Locker, and they actually sold out here of this shoe, like sold out. Uh, so I was like, oh, shit, what did I do? Because I thought mm-hmm. I was going to be able to pick them up cheaper, yeah. you know? Um, Accident. So, yeah. But, like, so I was like, uh, if they got them at chance, I'll go. You accidentally went to the store them. and swiped your card. <laughs> yep. It wasn't my intention to buy them when I when I went into the mall. I was actually shopping for my kids' Christmas. So they got a little mm. less. <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, F your Christmas. We need these. Fuck your Christmas. <laughs> um, I also got these finally. Yeah. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. My second, yeah, second know, finally, favorite. Finally, a part of the Concord crew. Um, hey. You know, shout out to VXM. So now, you know, you know they'll so, be out in a year. So now, uh, yeah, but they're different. They're the low, uh, and I won't buy the higher one. Yes, I love will. the higher pad leather. I love it. I'm glad that's the way they're going. I do too. Oh, I, I, want, like I, I like, I like, I'm like radio. I like both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I also got the LeBron. Crimson shoe, um, and this is a tray with Shoe Life eighty one, so LeBron Christmas nine. All right, and then uh, big shout out to Frankie, New York State of Mind, um, who blessed me up with this pair here. This wow. is the um, Northern Light SB Low and the Northern Light SB High. Um, and I'm super stoked, and he's got pink laces for me too. So I'm gonna take like I like to wear mismatchy laces in in these guys. So um, and I, I got some glow shots coming soon because these both glow. So woo-woo, there's that. Um, and then on the last Monday midsole, uh, I actually hit on eBay on these things here. Um, the Olive <coughs> Five still got a clear bubble, no crease, no like no cracking in the back. So I got these for 200 which is pretty dope. Um, look at that. Look at that sold, though. Like, dope. Um, and then I got um, this right here, the Jeter, which I like the white laces because I feel like they, it breaks up that color blocking a little more. I, don't know, I feel like it pops a little harder. Um, and then I got these sample guys here. So these are the. Um, He's still LeBron. going in case y'all, y'all didn't know. He's still yeah. going. LeBron, you're about to have more than me. Um, so I have these LeBron nine or LeBron nine, uh, LeBron fourteen Skills Academy, um, which I think is a super dope colorway. Um, Ma Ma enlightened me for the what you call it, the Grizzlies, right? Oh, the, yeah, the, the, the Grizzlies. Memphis Academy. colorway. Yeah. And that little thing is really really cool. You know that one little pod. And then last but not least, bam! Finally, finally. <laughs> Finally, uh, one of my grails is now off of the list. The I hate you fours; those are my size fours. Like, why can't you just cop an eleven and then slide that ten and a half to me? But no, you can eat a whole bag, a whole bowl. This is mine. You know what? The leather I on the inside of this motherfucker. No, no, no. <laughs> you're not even gonna get away with that. His mother calls me on Sunday, like, "Yeah, I'm shopping in my calls." I'm like, "Okay." I was. I was running because, around the mall. He's like, I'm running around shopping in my calls. And I'm just like, really? You're out there beating why up my shit like that? Why you always got to play the white dude when I'm like, 
talking. I didn't. <laughs> That's what I'm, I, I, was I was trying I was, to te- I was trying to test it out. I got another one for you. So yeah, that's, that's just, <laughs> um, with that, I'm gonna pass. Hate, hate level is all Madden. Oh yeah, no, the salt is real, son. Like ain't no I, Christmas at my house. Ain't no Christmas. At my my house. fingers are shriveled up. My so, mouth like ain't, ain't nobody uh, getting no right. crema. <laughs> yeah, so the, um, you know, a, um, a love wanted me to show the soul here. You know, and that's it's got that little star there, that's which far. I think is just a really really cool. Um, but I think this is probably one of the best colorways outside of the um, out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, on this I, I just have to say this again, Dan, because like you know, I got a lot of love for you, but I really hate you for that shoe. <laughs> it's cool because you got a, you got this one with a gold rose on the side. That's for sure my size. Hmm. But go ahead. Uh, all right. Well, we're gonna keep it moving. Try to get this done as quick as possible. Dan, put those away before I smack you. Um, <laughs> the mini team cop here. Really? <laughs> the red joints, the red tings. Um, it's got a blue soul. It's fake. <laughs> it's fake, fake, straight from Memphis. Um, the Kyrie hybrid, the Europe release. So dope. Bam. So you can see that there. If you want to see more details, be sure to check out my YouTube video. Live. All right. Um, real quick, Jeters. Yeah. Just like Kev, just like Dan. I debated not showing all these. Listen, there was two weeks. There was yeah. a lot of good sales. So I mean, let's. This has an asterisk. I'm just saying. Um, so I got those wheat sixes. I love those. So I think yeah, I think these are really dope. I do like the fact that the. Yeah, that white on the midsole to break up all that all that wheat. These are real clean. So hopefully I'll get some pics of that. It's cold as anything right now, so the motivation to go outside and take pictures is really, really low. I'm not gonna lie. Um let's see what says. He had to get the forklift to come over and look and drop these Stop shoes it. off. Stop <laughs> it. Um bang, the uh Stingray elevens. We're just gonna keep it at that. Dan, I know what you're gonna say. Shut up. Um, look, I wore these Saturday, and okay. I was able you're to pretty, put a sneaker show in it. What's up? Huh? You, you call me a princess? Yeah. Did that come with a, That came with a purse. <laughs> nah, <laughs> first of all, it came with a purse, and and y'all saw my shot. I killed that Louis bag. So <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me. Uh, <laughs> These are dope. The only problem is they crease like crazy, but you know, I am a 10 and a half, so I was able to throw a shield in here and, and keep it fresh. You can click your heels um, together and go back to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> go back to light skin heaven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I showed those. So I got no, that's my Jeter. Oh, here we go. Bam, just came in today. Those silver bullet 97s. Yeah, I almost, I almost pulled the trigger on those. I had to, bro. I had to. I got red, I got red in my pair. Why am I surprised? I got my LeBron nine. All right. Um, DB Vapor Max. My first Vapor Max. I'm not a big fan of the Vapor Max. It's probably the, one of the few times I actually held it in hand. It's got the teething rings that I call. Yeah. But it's a DB. First DB is pretty dope. The uh, I love the fam on the side. Which is dope. It's really dope. Uh, keeper or or not, I don't know yet. You know, it definitely was a consolation prize after I took my L's on the 12s in the uh, in, in the uptempos. Yeah, but now you can get the 12s for just about retail. Just, just about. about. And then, so I got three Nike runners, which is unusual for me. Normally, it's Nike basketball. And, um, you know, I took nine, well, eight losses on the off-white release. But I got these. Hey. Got all white ninety sevens. It's super tough. Uh, there's no debating these. These are these are these are staying. These ain't being sold. <laughs> these are staying right here. What's the what's the resale value on those? No idea. Didn't even look. Uh, I think it was around five last time I checked. Don't even care. I was trying to get them ones, man. Them ones is tough. Most of them was Bro, around five. Shout, except out, for them shout out to Pino. Shout out to Pino for real. Because what was that? Was that what? Oh, yeah. When was that, April? Yeah, it was a gap on his. Yeah, we asked it. We all asked it. 
I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't no, remember no, if I asked. No, I think I passed. I, I might I have didn't. passed on it. No, I guessed it. I guessed it. Okay. Um, and I circled back. I copped these cement eights. I love those. During one of the sales, they had a 20 to the 25% off, whatever it was. Um, so I went back and copped these. This is also my purchase to give me my full 10 minute head start. <laughs> I, I, I like those better. If you know than, what I mean? I like those better yep. than the uh, playoffs, to be honest with you. Playoffs? Uh uh. Nope, nope. Oh, excuse me as I jump out the frame. I told you, I, I, I talked to Dan about this. I'm like, I'm not showing all these, man. It's going to look terrible. You got to show them all. You got to show them all. Uh, I'm, I'm getting there, bro. Um, so the 32, why not? You going to hoop in those? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. But, um, you know, I was looking at them and I figured, why not? Yeah, I mean, I like the colorway for sure. I just, if I can't I got the 31, them. which are actually pretty dope because they got like the, um, the print on the, on the heel clip. Yeah, I want, I want the 31. These are a little bit more basic. Yeah, I want, I want the 31. I like the 31s Demon. better than the 32. I see a couple comments rolling through. I can't, can't type right now, but I definitely saw something that I'll address in a minute. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I got those Beluga 2.0s, which I actually like better than the first ones because it's just got the print. You don't have the whole little stripe. Um, it's a little bit more subtle. I'm happy with these. I'll keep these. Dan, I know yours are already gone, so you didn't even get yep. to show that cop. You saw I, didn't even, I, didn't need, I didn't need to. Yeah, you were. You got rid of all listen, your I give you credit. No, he's staying strong. He's like, no more Adidas, you know. I told you. I told you. After, after that. I mean, wanted, so kudos to you. After that zebra thing, I was done. I mean, right, well, the zebra if you, if you, you guys, if you guys can cop the, the blue joints and, you know, cop for your boy. Because I want the. No, no, no. Dan still cops, but he no. sells them so he can buy Sunny Wong. The blue, the blue ones are going to be close to a GR2. They, it's not going to be as many as these, but it's still going to be a lot. So you should better get them yeah. too. Yeah, but I, I mean, you know, I, I'll probably yeah. cop them. I mean, if you need them. Yeah, I want, I want them for sure. I need a They'll be sitting in Dallas so you can get us all a couple pair. <laughs> Such a hater. I've never known <laughs> Such a hater in my life. <laughs> all right. And then my cop of the weekend. The Sakari mom pair. This is the the red one, the rose, which is really sick. This is the sneaker I agree. collaboration. Uh, so shout out to Siraj from Sneaker Room representing Jersey Baby. Um, I cannot wait. Details are just sick on this pair. You see the hearts. Um, the polka dots for his mom's yep. favorite shirt. The the mom on the tongue. Um, I'll show the medial size who should get. Hopefully, you guys can get a good look for all the inscription on there. No hate on Dallas. I just, just hate on Marcus. <laughs> see, see Jess, Jess has said he got five pair of the Belugas in Dallas. Go ahead, and, hating, man. Go ahead and show that um, that size eleven. Um, so, actually, wait, I'm missing a pair. You didn't grab those. He's got a he's got a Halloween maze in his house with shoes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh right! Before we show that, my bad. He's got uh, pillars in front, like Stop Uncle, it. Uncle, Uncle the, Phil's house. Down the west wing. I thought so I was while I was at sneaker it. room, I actually got G'd up with this pair. G'd up. This one. Yes, sir. Oh shit! What's that? Yes, the Asia ID. How did you get those? I just told you I was in the store. Somebody had them. Somebody I know and. I had uh, I was talking to him on IG, whatever. I knew he was gonna be there Saturday, and he was like, "I got a size 11, you know, whatever, whatever." whatever. And I'm like, "All right, we'll bring them. I'll see you there. I'll check them out and My see size. see what they're like." Um, so I was like, oh, "I'd prefer 10 and a half, whatever, whatever." He's like, "Yeah, man, just take them." And I said, "Thank you." He didn't, he didn't charge you? He did not. No. Oh. So I don't want to hear shit. <sighs> oh, hush. About it. Uh, you will. Man, y'all get everything. <laughs> y'all got like 2,000. Y'all got 2,000 boxes for the freezer. I said I wasn't going to do it. Uh, but I also said if they were there, then it was meant to be. And they were there. <laughs> so I did it. Mm. Damn, that's fucking The Kyrie 3 mom pair. This is the gold rose. Yeah, one of, one of 50 in the world. 
these are ridiculous. They've got Siraj's mother's initials and um, and Kyrie's mother's initials inside the tongue. Very, Does the red pair have that too? I didn't check, to be perfectly honest. In May, um, but yeah, these are, these are sick. These are sick. I can't believe I did it. I jumped out the window, arguably or easily, the most I've spent on any any shoe. It's above what I said my limit was. How much, mom? I ain't gonna say. I know. Gentleman never tells. Put it in the group text. Yeah, that's well, that fine. That, yeah, I'll share it amongst amongst the brothers. But, yeah. Man, he's so, I mean, he he spent a cutlass on that joint. <laughs> let's just let's just say that I made a few moves from last Wednesday to today, and we're good. Basically, these cost me nothing. So. And you ain't never met Martin Luther King. Not the winner. You can teach me how to make them moves, because uh, you know. Ah, <sighs> and that. Is two weeks of pickups. Nigga, that's a whole year for most motherfuckers. What is you talking about? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> well, I didn't hear you what you say. I said that's, that's a whole year for that's a whole year for most people and shit. He talking about oh, that's two weeks. Listen, you already know February and December, the like that Black Friday through December, yeah. that and February All Star, like that's heavy. And then yeah. uh that don't Max month ago be crazy this year too. Yeah, that's gonna be ridiculous. Oh, so man. um I got a couple things on the way for next week. Like I said, I was debating not not showing everything because uh, I feel like an a-hole. Uh, <laughs> but it, it probably would have been just as bad while Dan sniffs the freaking shoe over there. God damn it. Dan, you can put that shoe down now, man. Dang. <laughs> Nothing. That's all good. Um, <laughs> Hit you with the Joey Lawrence. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> I got it on mute. I'm to the joints. Oh, I circle back. Lord but, um, have mercy. Yeah, put oh, you know, back you, on you, shoes down. You know you're going to have them within a few weeks, so I don't even know why you're talking. What? No. Yeah, once I get them, it, it, it's done. And it's the same That's way when That's not true. Ma, well, no, shut the fuck up. When Ma gets them. <laughs> That's very true. I get, it, I, get it, I get it within a couple of weeks. When I yeah, get yeah. stuff, Ma gets it within a couple of weeks. It's the yeah. worst. When you, like, like, like these joints right here? Yeah. yeah, but the whole thing about that is I have been talking to you about that for like six what? fucking months. And I've been talking about it as well. Over your shoulder, like right over here. Like I didn't have an option. Like you, you... but I gotta get. The, I gotta get the dental purchase. I gotta give the bigger. nod to Maul on that one because Maul always gets Kyrie's and shit. I mean, yeah, nah. Like the three pair of Kyrie's that he just picked up are all like elite Kyrie's. You know, one of two fifty, an Asia ID only release, and that one of fifty. So like, you know. Th those are all elite Kyrie, so you know. It is what it is. Maul is the man. He get on my damn nerves, but he's the man. <laughs> right. Listen, I'm still trying to swallow that pill, so just, just... pause, <laughs> pause that one. Um, pause. I'll pause it, but that's common. Don't play me. All right, uh, but, then, so... but then I'm, I'm glad you finally got your cause, man. I hate that shoe; it's ugly as fuck. But I'm glad you finally got it, man. Uh, so it's always good to see how. It's y'all grills. I did, a black I one. I, I about that black pair. I do want the black pair. That black pair. Yeah, uh, I am. I am desperately trying to find those at a reasonable price. I think I the black pair. The price is coming down a little bit. Well, price is pretty much right where the gray ones are. If you go on StockX, yeah. at least for a ten and a half, they're right around eleven hundred. Yeah. I think that's where it's going to stay. I think that's where it'll live, just like well, the gray. I'm thinking is. it's going to drop if they have a wider release. Uh, well, that's I, mean, I heard that the the black cause they made double the amount. Right, the, so I'm not jumping right. out the window just yet. You know, I'll wait but, it's, but it's coming. No, I got well, bro. We got sneaker con coming. <laughs> yeah, I will wait. I mean, like I will say that everybody tonight on the show in their pickups had a grail of theirs. Oh yeah, yeah. which I think is is really really dope. Um, you know, so. Um, do we want to get into the gap? It's nine ten. Yeah, let's go yeah, ahead. Man. But first, everybody, get your ears together because we're <laughs> about to go into the eight nine commercial. Uh, you know, the gap is brought to you by eight nine. Uh, we, we do have a new code. So well, actually, it's not a code; it's a, a link. link. You just click it. It's in the description right now. Go ahead and get fitted. Get somebody else fitted. You know, some people. You know, 
have them looking nice after Christmas, man. Stop having them look like poop butt. But, uh, <laughs> you know, here you go. And we're at the gap. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boy, sorry, I was looking at my phone. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the gap. It's your favorite, favorite part of the show. It's my favorite part of the show because I get to do most of the talking. Kind of. It's not really like that so much anymore because we kind of have this different thing. Uh, but um, you know the rules. And if you, if you don't know the rules, I will explain them to you. Gas gets you two, two points. Ask gets you no points. The pass gets you one point. Marcus, can you wake the hell up? You look like you're dying over there. Um, <laughs> this is it's all up in the camera, like like I'm boxed. Yeah, like like these motherfuckers got me on here again. <laughs> like God <laughs> damn. So clear. This, this gap is the Christmas release. So it's all a Christmas release. Is what's going to be on here. Um, holidays, holidays. The holiday holidays. release, holiday. I thought it was Christmas. I literally no, was, thought it was Christmas. It was all holidays. Oh, well, I'm jacked up. So, anyway, um, if you're playing along at home, you know, gas, give me the gas pump. I already see some there. Give me the peaches. And please give me the peaches. That sounds so weird. Um, the and then pass, you can make that little, the little arrow or the gas or air symbol, whatever. You know what it is. Let's get to it. And first up, we have the Kobe Grinch, which I assume is Molly Mall. Nope. You would assume, you would assume incorrect. Wrong. That is actually high. picked by the Grinch. Oh, exactly. I picked it for that reason. The Grinch <laughs> can pick the Grinch. Mother. <laughs> no, for real though, I love this shoe, man. I'm I'm not a big Kobe fan. I got a couple of Kobe's, but this this shoe right here is just is is something special. I mean, it just the the you little mean texture one. on it, right? I mean, and of course it's the Grinch. I mean, for sure. So. Yeah, this 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 straight gas for me. I, at some point, I hope to have this in my collection. I fucking approve. Okay, uh, Kev, what you got on this one? I'm gonna go with the gas. Uh, I mean, I typically I, I, I typically one. don't like uh, Kobe's, uh, but these are probably one of the best ones. Um, next to well, for me, I like those Tinker the Tinker joints too, um, as well as the Christmas nines. But um, but yeah, these are these are sick to me. So I'm gonna gas them. All right. Uh, it's a pass for me. I'm not a big fan of the Kobe line. Like, I like some of them, but mainly it's like the prelude, and I do like the fade to black with the monotone, but I, I don't particularly care for these. But I mean that with all the love and respect in my heart, knowing that I'm going to lose. So, Maul? <laughs> well, <laughs> these are gas. It, this is a Kobe Grail. Whether you like colors, whether you like monochromatic tones, whether you like the sixes or not, like you have to gas this shoe. This is by far the best holiday <laughs> shoe ever. 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 All right. Well, of all time. I'm glad you feel that way. <laughs> ever. <It's a> <laughs> ever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the, the, suspects, the usual suspects also agree. Um, Medusa, that puts Marcus at a grand total of nine, which is almost perfect. Next up, we so, have... So do we want to do uh, uh, mics or no? No. No, just no. skip it. Just skip it? All right. No. Yep. And he loses. Yep. <laughs> you lose. Good day. I mean, he was going to lose anyway because he has an SB, <laughs> and I'm the only one that likes SB. That would have been ass, ass, gas, gas. Like, yeah. That's I, not true. That's I, not true. I mean, I bought those, and I, I, <laughs> took, I took them back. And I think they were on sale for like twenty five dollars at some point. Yes. They were. Um, but this is right. this is mine. Um, this is uh, was it last year's Christmas? Uh, LeBron. I don't remember that. He, it's what he wore against the Warriors Christmas. Did he wear them again? Out of nowhere. No. That's it. So out of nowhere, Christmas release. <sighs> Sucker. Damn it. Dude. Gas. All right. Uh, 
Flow show, and this is also a gas for me. It's the only other LeBron 14 that I will get eventually. Like, it's super gas for me. So, boom, boom. Next. Maul? Why well, you got to go to me? Um, I'll go. <laughs> good. Go. I'm I'm a pass. I mean, because there's nothing about the shoe that stands out to me. It, it's There's nothing that makes it a holiday shoe. It's just... It's just black. Yeah, dropped. Yeah, dropped during Christmas. I'm mean, okay. I mean, and what that mean? I don't care. You know, if you show, if you if you came up with the the, the LeBron not on Christmas or something like that, then I'd have been down. This it's just it's just like like a regular plain LeBron. I mean, it's not. So what'd you give it? Uh, it's a pass. It's a pass. Um, right. Well, considering in the beginning of the show, I kind of expressed that I like these. <laughs> mm-hmm. I would basically mm-hmm. perjure myself <laughs> as Dan puts his face all the way to the bag on camera, trying to look into my soul. Uh, <laughs> these are gas. I don't know if these would look right on my feet, but I definitely like the colorway. I like the bowl. I like the way the colors pop on the gray and on the black. It's got that stripe of crimson. These are sick. Every time I see these, I think of Fresh Street Jones and the pick that he had. God, um, he that night shot. Yeah, absolutely. With uh, hanging off that building top. And it's crazy with the back, with the uh, with the city lights and everything in the back. That's just a ridiculous shot. I would want these. I want to pay what they're worth. You know, I need that Dan price. Um, but yeah, these these are definitely dope. So they get gas. As much as it hurts for me to say. <laughs> hey man, the chat, y'all. All right, y'all. <laughs> Yo, she gave it, she gave it up. Up Uber petty. <laughs> Um, the, the the chat did give it a, a, a heavy pass, so Kev walks away with an eight. Let's oh, what's see. going on? What what was that? What was happening? <laughs> cold um, in the, it's cold in the D. <laughs> <laughs> Your man's not hot. All right. So what's up next? Next we have. Uh, oh, my default should be mine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hope it's uh, uh, SpaghettiOs. It better not be no SpaghettiOs. All right, cool, cool. So this is the Kobe 4 Christmas. They actually uh, had dropped these on Nike ID as like a quick strike. So there are some floating around. They never released in stores. Uh, there is an alternate pair, the what is it, the George Lopez joints. Um, so this is really, really exclusive. Um, yellow toe, yellow lining, yellow heel clip with the purple swoosh. In the red laces so a lot of pop damn fix your face because i don't appreciate that if you saw the fours in person you know they wear well these are dope and this is my default because marcus took my daggone shoe <laughs> um marcus all right let's just skip we're good, <laughs> we're good. Marcus, pass I, pass and somebody's gonna ask no, i actually i the, actually like this shoe i mean i i I can rock a yellow shoe. I mean, I need to get your baby history up for real. So, you guys are so Jordan centric. If it ain't a Jordan, it's like oh, oh, oh. Look, man, hey, you're man, about, I just you're said, to get a, I just said a Le, uh, Lebron. You about to get a gas? You about no, to get a gas? Yeah. And you finna talk me into? No, an I'm ass. not. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the chat. I'm talking to Kevin. I'm talking to Dan's <laughs> face right now. Oh, He's got that UA scrunch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't but know. I, I get these gas. These dope for me, man. I I rock. Give me a little Ralph Lauren with the. The yellow jump man and the red shirt. I rock the shit out of these. These are dope. I like it. Yeah, says the man that yeah. likes some Balenciaga Gar- <laughs> Gardner shoes. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna pass on these. All right, next. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Dan, oh, that pass Dan. That toe look like the Morton's sock. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, Dan. <laughs> Dan, go. You'll float down here. I, I, fucking, I, I fucking hate this shoe. I, I, don't, I don't get it, man. I don't. I don't understand. I don't like. I like the shoe. I like the Kobe Four, and I've seen a shit ton of them. I've held a whole bunch of them, but this one is just unusually bad. It's like bad. So it's, it's All bad. Right, cool. All it's right, um, and and the I can't tell if the, Howard the Duck wore these. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure it's LSU ass. practice squad. Uh, it's it's uh, gas or it's ass or pass. It is what it is. My points don't matter. So just who's the top? It's pass 
family. Yeah, it, it's not. A, it's it. not anyway. It's on the bottom. If my only only way, only thing that would take me is if we show Mike's shoe. <laughs> Ma, Ma, you walk away with a six. No, I love Mike's shoe. I love it. That's you. Everybody else with a gas mm. or ass or pass it. Yeah, so you can miss me with that Jordan centric shit because there wasn't Jordan a single centric. Jordan shoe on the panel. Not one. That's because there's no Jordan holidays. And uh, Dino left. He had the uh, the Just Dons, the uh, BHM ones. Nah. But anyways, oh wait, this is yours. Look you look can... That's weird. Uh, it's yeah, a so big these... file, man. We got it scratched yeah, down. I... Um, these are the. Uh, this is my shoe in my picture, and I actually have it right here. How did That's you? This shoe. You take a That's page out of my book. I think. I think so, you yeah, might. I did. You miss a point for using your own picture. <laughs> no, you don't have to point these in your own picture. So these are the LeBron Christmas nines. Um, so I misunderstood this as like it had to be a Christmas shoe, but I, I apparently it was a holiday shoe. But either way, I stick to it. I re, like I really like this shoe. I like the way it looks. I like the I put the LeBron eight Christmas laces in there because I like the way they look with the fatter laces in the nine. Um, but this is the LeBron nine, and I love LeBron nine. So. The gas for me, Ma. Uh, this is a pass for me. All right. Don't you have these? I do not have these. I actually have only two pairs of LeBron nines. They don't wear well. Um, I use them on the ball. The, the toe box is terrible. I had the Scarface ones and free gums, um, but that's it. Uh, free gums, yeah. Yeah. Marcus. I'm I'm a gas. That's one of my favorite LeBrons. <clears throat> one of my favorite colorways and silhouettes. So I'm a gas. Dope. Kev? I'll go ahead and gas them too. They're, they're dope. Uh, and then Something the cat, the chat, chat gave it a gas as well. Oh. So that's nine. All right. So uh, what it really boils down to now is me and Marcus. And I think Marcus is going to get this dub here. So, um, Maul, since you're not in the running, can you keep an eye on the chat? I'm going to try uh, to as well. I just don't want to be solo on this one. So, no. so either put an M or a D. So it's either the LeBron 9 or the Grinch 6. All right. An M or a D. And only push the button once. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Please. All right. So it's the Grinch 6. Or it's the 6, right? Yeah, the Kobe Grinch 6. Or the LeBron nine. There we go. There we go. All right, so we're up. Uh, just so <laughs> it's all M. So I just wanted to M. <laughs> put, put, put a G. G, G for Grinch. Grinch. Yeah. M M. Diana. There's some D's in there. There's some D's. There's some D's on it. Now we're starting to get some repeats, though. Yeah, I see that too. Oh, um, on, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> I like to make Marcus, Marcus. <laughs> yeah. So Marcus. Um, we're gonna go with uh, Marcus one. Back Isn't that two that. in a row, Marcus? Yeah. That's well, that what? That, dub is, that dub should have been mine, but we ain't gonna go there. Y'all love me now again. Uh huh. Yeah, I hate when you so, do it because you don't never so, pick me. <laughs> I know you pick something on Sunday night, like hey. We need, we we need like a set time. Y'all y'all drop some was, random. I really random wanted to time. do something because I like the last one we did where we actually had the shoe in hand, and I was really trying to think of something that would relate to that. And I wanted to do the oldest sneak in your collection, mm. but that wasn't fair because I would have probably had right. the oldest. I'm about so, to say you, you got the no, shoes that came from the, the ground before Christ shoes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, congratulations to Marcus. You win the gap tonight. You get a round of applause for your second win. Yay. In as many weeks, right. yes. Right. All right, so All right, next so up. All right, we're going to go ahead and head in the topic, so one second. Man, I hate, I hate, I hate the, the chat, man. Yo, get one too. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, fire in the eyes. The horns are coming out. Man, man. I'll be, I'll be mad. I'll be, I'll be mad for real. I know you about to go away. Like, <laughs> <laughs> caught himself. <laughs> All right. So, um, All right. 
What's the first topic for this? So the first topic we have uh, has to do with effective marketing and whether or not we think that actually influences our decisions to buy. Well, we just talked about that. Like, like you, you picked up the um, the eighty-eight. I mean, like we touched on it briefly. Well, oh, to an extent, but there's marketing. Well, that's different. That's that's. I got it. You want it. You want it. I got it. And then you get it. So that's a little bit different than marketing. Marketing would be, you know, through commercials, through advertising, through influencers. Uh, you see the new paid partnerships on Instagram. I don't know what the hell that's about, but I want in. <laughs> You know, things of that nature, whether or not that has an actual influence on whether or not you make a purchase. I mean, for me, for me, definitely. And it's, it's, sh- it's shifted. I mean, when we were kids, it was definitely the athletes that were, uh, you know, selling shoes and, and things like that. But I think that with their accessibility, you know, being so much more easier, that that's kind of worn off. It's not as special as it used to be. So now it it influences me more to see somebody that, you know, that I interact with get a pair of shoes and make them pop or whatever. That makes me want to, if I'm on the fence at least, that makes me want to go out there and buy more. Say we're talking about a shoe in, in the chat and I might not, it might not have been on my radar, but then I start thinking about it. I'm like, all right, well maybe, you know, maybe I'll go ahead and, and, and cop that. So, right. I mean, the marketing, I mean, it. we see all this Gatorade stuff with, you know, Jordan stuff, and I'm not into it, but I see other people picking it up, so obviously it's working. Right, to an extent. But, I mean, um, I'm not buying any of that. I would say kind of what, what you were talking about. It's more so like the inner circle, like the people that I associate with that I follow. If they get an early cop and I see it, and I'm, like you said, if you're on the fence, you're like, yeah, that looks good on feet or something like that. Uh, so it's not really the commercials. It's not really the celebrity athlete wearing it. Um, I would say, you know, with the off whites and Daniel and I talked about this. I thought that that marketing was was great. That was very effective. The fact that Virgil was sending them off to celebrities and it just you know really built up the allure of the shoe of the ten, all of them. Uh, to like the that. Where you're like, I just want one. <laughs> that article I sent you. Oh yeah, you that, it's not meant for everybody. Yeah, no, that was that was pointing. Yeah. That was on point. Yeah, and I, I, I that was written by Matt, and he's a really good dude. But he um he hit on the point where you know almost every celebrity was wearing these before they dropped the ten or whatever. Yeah. And then you know they do these small you know releases, and I don't even think some of these stores where we were putting in raffles got <laughs> large. Um, I don't think they got large amounts either yeah but even you if know, they did you know that a lot of those go out the other yeah i mean like yeah, it's man. funny because I see, I see those dudes on instagram because i talked to them on instagram and stuff and they all got off whites on their feet mm-hmm. um but couldn't nobody get them so you know I, I really think that marketing now is you know and is it effective is really boils down to um who's wearing it right which is kind of kind of sad because it's not i mean like by athletes yeah there are athletes wearing it but they're not wearing it on court when we see it, they were on red carpet. PJ and... Tucker is. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, like, never... <laughs> yeah, that dude wears everything. But it's not so much about where, you know, what they're doing in them. Like when in the era that we grew up on, which was like. Um, Jordan, Slim Dunk Contest, yeah, the shot. What they were doing in that shoe, you know, like the, the right. Slam Dunk competition, like what he did in that shoe makes that shoe iconic. Now it's, you know, Who's wearing it? Like, what's his, what's that kid's name? That rapper, Travis. Travis Scott. Scott, yeah, Travis Scott. You know, um, and he, you know, he's got his Cactus Jack Air Force Ones, and I, I like, th- there were kids lined up crazy at the local at the local boutiques and stuff, and so that's really what it's down to now. I think is who's wearing it. Is it exclusive, and can you not get it? You know, and that's what people want, what they cannot have. It's just, it, really? it's, and I, I think it's a rough marketing ploy. I think it it, it takes away from the shoe. For well, me. Let me ask you this I, question. I, I, I miss the oh, old marketing that we had back in the days. I miss the Penny Hardaway, Little Penny commercials. Oh, the commercials? Uh, the what? Grandmama, the, you know, the Jordan, you know, and uh, Spike Lee commercials. Those things, you know, are, are missed today. You don't, you don't see that now. Nike is, they don't have a budget for marketing like they had back then. Now, they just say, okay, we're going to send these celebrities these shoes, tell them to take pics. We don't have to spend any money except for the cost of sending the shoe, which is a write-off. Right. And they don't I don't have to know spend if a it's dime. so much the budget. But, 
Yeah, I'm I think, not, I think I'm still not saying a, it is the budget. Necessity, not, right, yeah. I'm just saying it is a budget, but they don't have to have a budget for marketing like they had to have back in the 90s, you know, when you had to have a commercial come on during the, the, the NBA games and doing the playoffs. Right. They but don't that, have to do that anymore. But that was I mean, back... They still have some that pretty was, dope commercials. That was back in the day when you didn't have, you know, like TiVo and DVR and things like that, where, I mean, you're spending money on... You know, I mean, even the ads at the Super Bowl... You know, they're not as great as they used to be because the media has changed, you know, it's changed. I mean, it's it's online now. So, I mean, they're putting dollars mm-hmm. towards, you know, people on, you know, Instagram and, and stuff like that as opposed but, and, and not spending nearly as much. And I mean, wh- what would you do? You can actually you can actively target a, a segment of the population without having to spend all this extra money on, you know, broadcasting the people that may not be interested at all. I agree. And that's my point. You know, I mean, at one point we had the advertising, we had the commercials that come on. They don't need it anymore because society has changed. I mean, but would I love to be able to watch an NBA game and see a commercial with LeBron showing his new shoe, you know, something like that? Yeah. had that though. I mean, some of... He doesn't do it now. I mean, he really, he really... And and when they do commercials now, when when they do commercials now, you don't even see the shoe. You just see LeBron doing LeBron and you see like a half a second of the shoe. You know, well, what they did, like you said, they sent it to the to the blog sites, and you know they they filter yeah. it out through there. Right. Yeah, because back in the day, that's how we first got to see the shoe. I mean, I remember back in the day watching WGN, watching Jordan, and just looking at this little thirteen inch TV, trying to see, you know, what, what's the shoe look like. Right. And now you can go online. I mean, and granted, it's from was it L five Factory or whatever, you know, and it's <laughs> and it's a fugaze, but it, it's what basically it's going to come out i mean we saw the we saw the jordan one um from virgil pop a, a while ago you know and that was from you know the suspect sites i mean it might not look exactly Tatum. different as far as the the details but i mean it ended up uh, essentially being the same shoe that came out right i, I think the the 10 was was marketed well i think that um Anything that's exclusive like that, like, and I think Nike's getting its groove back to be 100% honest. Like, I don't know if y'all have seen this at all, but like, I have seen a lot of people selling their Yeezys. Have y'all noticed that? Oh, yeah, the Yeezys. Oh, yeah, the, the, and they're getting low. The Yeezys low. I mean, the Yeezy market have die. always been. The Yeezy market is about to die. If they, yeah. if they keep. Like, there's stuff. nothing innovative about it. There's nothing different. There's nothing cool. There's nothing like, I mean, like, it's the same shoe over and over again. And I get that, like, this is the same Jordan 4, you know, but there's a different nostalgia, a different hold on the market with the Jordan 4, but, or Jordan, any, you know, Jordans, you know, I just, I feel like the 10 and these Air Force One, the 100, you know, the Don C, the, the, collab. the Rock, Travis, Scott acronym they're all doing well like they're all selling out quickly like there's kids lined up again for Nike like when was the last time y'all seen kids lined up for Nike well I mean it's you know? it's because of that spending potential I mean that that I mean they can sell them <coughs> and make that bre- I mean, you could put yeah, the resale. You could I mean put look, look at the Kyrie joints the luck pair there. Uh, the joints that um, that just came out in Sneaker Room, like it was reseller galore out there for the most part. I mean, like, yeah. When, so when does it come down to like when someone actually likes the product, as opposed right. to seeing the financial gain that they can get? I think, from I think only. I mean, this could be this could be off, but I'm just gonna throw you know some rough numbers out there. Twenty to thirty percent, you know, on a limited drop are actually gonna be kept for for wear, and the rest of them are just gonna circle. They're gonna right. gonna be in circulation, man. That's it. Yeah. To another. So Holy Holy Grail Jenkins is in the house. Holy Grail, Uh-oh. number one. Um, so he says Nike and Nike and Virgil was their response to Kanye. Would y'all agree? Uh, um, I don't think whether he's on it that was scale, intentional though. or not. Well, whether it was intentional or not, it it is it did it. You know what I mean? And you just finished saying, Marcus, that you think that the the easy market is going to die. And then the Nike market is ascending. Jordan is ascending. Like if you look at the growth potential, you know, Nike is, is in a much stronger growth position right now than that of Adidas. Cause like you said, how many NMDs do you want? How many Ultra Boosts do you want? We're on an Ultra Boost 4.0. How many people are copping those? 
So unless you're getting right unicorns here. like JC <laughs> or Obuscot or whomever, like, right. what is it? I think What's Mike had all this, all this plan before we even heard the, the numbers about Adidas doing better numbers than Jordan. I think they had all that plan. I mean, of course, they gave everybody what they wanted. We give, we're going to give you a year where you're going to be able to get every Jordan that you want. But then we're going to take it back from you. <laughs> and then we're going we're gonna to take our spot back at number two because we're going to hype these shoes up to where everybody's going to want them. Nobody's going to be looking at Adidas. Nobody's going to be looking at, at Yeezys because it's the same shoe coming out with different colors. Right. You know, people are going to be going after these, you know, and trust me, the Virgil collab, all these collabs that we saw, we're going to see many, many more that are going to probably stand above what we've seen so far. And the more we see this, the less attention is going to be paid to Adidas. So there's more. We, we talked about them a few months ago saying, you know, how Jordan's falling off. But trust me, this time next year, we're going to be saying something completely different. We all going to be pissed off because it's going to be about 10 or 12 shoes we're going to miss, mm -hmm. you know, and, and Jordan brand will take his place back at number two like it's supposed to be. So let me let me ask you this question too, like kind of a, a sub question or whatever. <clears throat> so when these we all see what happens when the shoes are too limited, people lose their minds, and people start fighting and people start shooting and things like that. Like, you know, what is the responsibility knowing that this is going to happen? What's the responsibility of the of Nike, of Jordan, of Adidas? or you know whoever what's their responsibility in that they, they have no responsibility there, there's no responsibility for them to have you know you why, really gonna, not to, my bad go ahead finish your thought my bad i, I mean my, my thing is why are, are they always blamed for these incidents that happen at these locations okay you release a limited amount of shoes you know i mean that's that you're doing what you do to make your business successful why should they continue to be blamed? Because we got idiots that don't know how to act. When well, they I mean, to I think it's it's one of the things is, I mean, they, they spend money surveying people to understand who their, who their customers are. So, I mean, they know what is going to happen. So, I mean, it's just like, I mean, if you make a car and you make the brakes just kind of work, I mean, you throw <laughs> it out there and you tell them they kind of work and then they kill somebody, you know, I mean, you still have responsibility there. I mean, right. What I was going to say is what's going to ultimately fall upon is the retailer to be smarter about how they release a shoe. So you're not just going to be able to say, I open up at X o'clock and you guys can line up. You know what I mean? You're going to have to be a little bit more crafty with how you put out the shoe. So, you know, I was watching Siraj's live. He had the Travis Scott's. He's like, all right, bet. I'm dropping it right now. Anyone who comes in with a $20 or, or a greater toy, you can cop for retail. You know what I mean? Like you can cop the shoe. So if it's, if, the resellers don't have a chance to line up for hours and hours at a clip and for things to get, you know, testy and, and for, for tempers to, to boil over. And that's going to reduce a lot of these instances. Um, right. I mean, they're, they're being very, you know, you, you can tell Nike is really thinking now about these releases. Look at the way we all caught the 11s that just came out on the sneakers. Album. Boom. You know, I mean, that's, that's creative. That was, that was dope. I mean, it was, I mean, yeah, I mean the good thing about it is that, Right. And the good thing about it is that we all chat with each other all day with between all of us that chat, you know, of course, somebody's going to see that, you yeah. know, luckily that's my what's phone great about usually is attached right here. Like, right. Exactly. Right here. Exactly. And that's, that's what, that's what made it great. They're doing things inventive that other people aren't thinking of. And we're going to see much, much more of this as time goes on, you know, and it's just going to be where if you want that shoe, you're going to have to be attached to your phone. Like you said, Marley's going to be writing. Your you're going to have to have I mean, two that's phones. How it was two years ago, right. though. I got two. You gotta have the two, right. two iPhones, yeah. iPhone, iPhones, y'all. iPhones. <laughs> Not that little negative robot. Not that little fat robot. <laughs> but like, I, I do, I do think that like, you know, the the quick strike or like, and we this can go into my topic because uh, I, I I was talking about the hyper strikes, um, which I think are another thing that Nike has going on right now, like the hyper strike with the. Um, the art battle stuff that's getting ready right. to happen with the igloo and the um rust pink yes that are getting the miami exclusive drop right now and i do think it's going to be exclusive like how the top three were was exclusive in complex con and then had a later drop um and we know uh, we're, we're still is that, theory or is that coming from some sort of knowledge uh huh that's is that, is that your own personal thoughts or is that coming from a credible source? 
It's in a group chat that you and I are in with one other individual. Like that, there. Oh, I must have missed that part. Yeah, there's a po- there's a possibility of it being sometime around Easter, uh, but okay. still, that's you know. But at the same time, they're still talking about the top, the gold top three. We're supposed to hit the Seekers app and haven't hit it. And I think that the um, that's messed these, up. These hyper releases or hyper strikes or the NRG kind of releases are really going to pump life into this thing. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I was in Foot Locker today with, with my daughter. Today's my daughter's birthday. It's also oh, Jay-Z's birthday. Happy birthday, birthday. birthday okay. Yeah. Gabby, my daughter turned 14 years old today. Oh, man. And we went, we, we were out shopping, and I was letting her her break the break my wallet. And, um, you know, she, uh, I was looking around in there while she was looking through the shoes. And <clears throat> she was, I was looking at the Adidas section. And it's, you know, NMD, 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 Ultra Boost, Ultra Boost, Ultra Boost, XR1, XR1. Like, it's literally everything that used to not be there. And that's because they've made everything kind of GR. They've almost moved toward the Nike, and Nike is now, or Jordan brand really is kind of moving toward. I mean, this Jordan 6 UMC sold out. Yeah, I it never sold out. Saw it didn't, that though. It didn't. It sold out in stores, but right. midday so they hit like, the Nike website. Here, here. I'm talking about here locally. Like they sold out in, in Dallas. Everything sits in Dallas, you know. But I mean, like, still, even 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 if you look at the app, like I don't think it's a full size run on the app, though. That's what uh, I mean. I'm, I'm going in there right now too. So I mean, like, what's your opinion on the hyper strikes? Is really what my topic was. Is what's your opinion on the hyper strikes? I, I mean, as like far the as, location. As far as I mean, I don't I don't like the location because I live in Ohio and we don't get shit. But, I mean, as far as the Art Basel, I mean, I'm not really mad at it because, I mean, the shoes are right. I like ones, but if I had to miss on an OG one, you can take them too. Or, you know, you, you can take both of those and do what you want with them. I mean, I'd rather have that 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 blue Chicago. I'd rather have that. I'd rather have a bread toe over those any day of the week. I mean, I'm not rocking the fast bread color. be a problem. Yeah, I, I mean that's a double. Yeah, yeah. I mean you're not wrong. There'll be some pairs that will be easy to to pass up, but the top threes, I'm pretty sure you'd want those. Yeah, but um, if there's an actual good trophy room, you know, released, you're gonna want those if they stop, you know, putting man, out trash. Trophy room pissed me off though, man. Oh, like, I'm I'm all the I'm beside. <laughs> I mean, just you know what's crazy? Like, if you're gonna do that, just let us know. Let us know that this is like exclusive to people who live here. I'm fine with that because then I don't have to waste Absolutely. my time. Yeah, you know, I was saying get... refreshing and refreshing and play with. Dude, they, they've, they've, they've done shady. They were gone. Boom, done. They've, nope, they've done shady things since day one. When that first uh, 16 dropped on there, it took almost three weeks before that shoe even got a track in. Oh yeah, it took forever. And I mean, you know, and so. It, and the crazy oh, thing I is, been canceled, man, dog. he gets on there, man. He's nasty with people that, you know, are prospective Support. customers. And I'm like, dude, like, I mean, that's it's cool. You're, 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 you're Jordan's, you know, son and everything. But come on, bro. Like, I mean, you don't have to be like that to him. I just wouldn't say anything. It's your business. What, know, happened, exactly. what happened to Trophy Room? Did I miss something? No, oh, I mean. He's yeah, what, fucking what, sideways what, about people who were camping for the top threes. And then, oh, and, then what happened? And I mean, he he was talking stuff about people on um, that people to get. I mean, you're gonna get frustrated. You're gonna have frustrated people when you have, you know, a, an area where people don't feel like they got a fair shot. It'd be one thing if it's like, all right, hey, I got this. And it, I mean, it's like when the um, sneakers app has the draw. You don't like it that you don't win, but at least you think you have a chance. You know, for but that, the draw for that is probably moment. the most. But when you're system. When you're when you're waiting, you know, for like a half hour beforehand, because you don't want to mi- miss it, and you're sitting there, and then ten minutes beforehand, oh, it's open, but hold up, you got to have the password, bro. You know what ten minutes gets you? If you don't have ten minutes on a, a Foot Locker app, you're not getting your shoe. So right. I mean, the people are checked out and got confirmations by the time you get a chance to even see the so shoe on the website. Open. Yep. So, I no mean, bull. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Just say, hey, you're not getting them. This is where they're coming. Can't sit here. Don't waste my time. So what's the next one? Next topic. Uh, next topic. Uh, 
it was the uh was it chic the chic bankruptcy oh that's and the fact that they owe nike 16 million dollars i bet you that's just the, the greed man i mean i i don't understand how a lot of these places keep afloat with having to buy the nike package i mean you to get the Jordans, you got to buy the True Flights and all these other things that probably right. don't move. I mean, not move but as much as they need to. That is the the Nike blueprint. <laughs> like that's how they they kept afloat the when they were over leveraged. They had all these pre sales, so I don't know if that model is ever going to go away. If you want the good stuff, you're going to have to take some of the other stuff too. No, if you want the that good doesn't stuff. work for everybody. That works. It works for Foot Locker and and you know the, right. the East Bay stores. You can't, you can't do that I mean, in, the, in the villas and the and the DTLRs and stuff like that. That's gonna kill them. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna, you, have I mean to, how many... you have to be a trophy room in order to. I mean, trophy room gets only the good stuff. Start off to zero, right? I mean, how many times you walk into a DL, DTLR or Jimmy Jazz and pretty much the whole wall is on sale? That's right. money that those right. companies are losing. You know, when you see that when they're dropping the price in half, they've already spent the money to buy those shoes. So now. They're basically selling it just to get some type of money back, you know. And and Nike doesn't think about that. They're like, okay, well, we made our money. Hmm. Why are we worried about you? And then you look at like places like City Gear that you know that may miss out. City Gear, DTLR, Ruvilla, um, that miss out on getting <coughs> you know a large release of a Jordan or whatever. And then it builds that you know that thing in people's brain like, hey, they probably don't have them, so I'm just gonna go here to Foot Locker and East Bay because I know right. they have them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yep. like, right. and then they, they have to, past. and then they got to buy all these crap shoes. I mean, you know, how many Bo Jacksons in different colors can you get? I mean, exactly. that nostalgia is not yeah. that that clientele is okay. not there. Like a Jimmy Jazz here has like 18 different Bo Jacksons, like all the shoes I don't want in one store. I mean, they have shoes. Yeah. They have shoes yeah. that I would I wouldn't mind having. But I but don't. I don't need them. Like I, right, they got Jordans coming out. The imagination. Right. Yeah, I just wait till they drop half the stuff. Drops down to like fifty bucks. Just right. Wait. It's, you know, it's it's great as a consumer, but from a business standpoint, you know, this may just this may be the beginning of a domino effect. Because she's still going to operate under business. It's Chapter Eleven, so you know. Yeah, I mean, it's still. I don't know. Word just said East Bay ships in bags. They ship in bags if the shoe is like old. I mean, if it's a new one, it's it's coming in a box. It's double box. They usually will come in a box, yeah. But they do ship a lot of stuff in the bags. It's, it's yeah, crazy. if it's if it's a lower end thing, like oh, yeah, you get in a bag. Yeah, if it's, if get... it's a kid's shoe, you get in a bag. Oh yeah. That's so weird. Like I've I've always been in boxes, but like I do. Uh, no, like I've been to like so here at Cumberland, they have a Jimmy Jazz DTLR. You know, and then a mall close to me, they have another DTLR. And I, but so, I mean, like, I think those stores are going to ultimately fold, like, go the way of sheep. Like, is, is that their end state, you think? I mean, I mean it's, it's, it's possible. And, and it's, I mean, with that deal with Amazon, I mean, maybe that's their, their plan to move away from that so they can concentrate on putting that with Amazon. Who's going with that? Who got to deal with Amazon? Nike. 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 Yep. A huge deal. Oh, it's a... Yes. So, Mega. I mean, like, are, are they going to drop, like, real releases on there? That's that's the, that's my guess. I don't know the extent of how it's going to be done, if they're going to take care of the logistics part of it. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's very, still very, very new, but they inked the deal and it shot up, like, 5%. Like, right it's, it's smart. Think about it. I mean, you, you can warehouse all your kicks at Amazon. Ship them out right there. Well, Amazon has probably some of the best delivery options you can get from anybody. Oh yeah, it's smart, and it comes to cost of Nike. Hey, you kicks on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, right. Am exactly. Am yeah. Amazon pissed me off though, because I have just don't Prime. get that Amazon key. I got Prime, and like it'll say, "All right, your stuff will be here by like Sunday." Sunday comes around, your stuff just shipped. Like, bro, I, I got the Prime. Like, you know, I told me it was gonna be here. It used to be but on depends. time, and I now you buy it directly. Are you buying it directly from Amazon I or are you put, buying it directly I, from, from one of the seven? I put it on Prime. I put Prime only because I want my stuff right away. It don't away. matter. And then, it don't matter. The, it, it, it don't be, matter. If you, if, it's supposed to matter. Filters. They shouldn't no, be, no, it listen, should have listen. a filter that says Prime. Listen, you have, you have Amazon works like eBay. You have Amazon where the products come directly from their warehouse. And then you have sellers on Amazon 
right product yeah, comes from by amazon but here's the deal though on not amazon always. Not on, always. No, here's but the deal. it tells you yeah it says this will be here by thursday all right thursday this, it better be there then and it ain't there it's like it just now shipped like if i put only amazon prime just show me the stuff that can guarantee the shipping the shipping is going to hit on that day lot. past that give me a second tier so i can choose something else or i'll go to another one because there's different vendors on there i know that for sure but if it says that it's going to come and then I'll, it changes its mind or whatever that takes away from me and then you spend like what a hundred dollars a year to have prime yeah that's why i don't like ordering so, shit online um <laughs> unseen talent says uh there's a free jumanji screening if you have amazon prime i do so uh, you got a free I do too. A free Jumanji screening if you have Amazon Unseen, Prime. Yeah, D DM Amazon. me the link. Unseen. Yeah, when is that? Is it is it through? Because I can I can sign up for thirty days. <laughs> so do you think like so I mean, like Frankie, uh, New York State of Mind, says that um, Nike Amazon collab coming soon. So is it gonna be like an Amazon shoe? No, that's okay. We don't need that. I mean, possibly. It's gonna have it's gonna have the Amazon tape around it. <laughs> yeah. We don't. I don't know. Amazon's no. opening a brick and mortar in some areas. Yeah, they have one here. They have one in a, on Ohio State campus. You can go pick your stuff up. Like I think it's like a the same day pickup. You can order it and go pick it up there. Well, like, How the know. fuck do they do that? I don't know. They got a machine because they house it right there. They, they house got, it everything right. They right got three D printers. <laughs> <laughs> like we have a big they Amazon warehouse here. I mean, so we get our shit pretty quick because we got a big warehouse right here. Yeah, we got one. We got a couple down here. There's that that we do have. They can get some Amazon uh, quick strikes. We'll be all right here. There's one in Georgia, apparently. No, I mean, because listen, the Nike pack, like, I had a package that was supposed to be delivered the Silver Bullets, like, last Wednesday. Wednesday 10 to Thursday. Thursday 10 to Friday. Friday 10 to Monday. I hit Nike up, like, what is going on? Why is my stuff keep getting pushed back? Yeah. It's been, like, at my hub like the next town over for the past three days. Why has it not been delivered? And the girl tried to finesse me. It's like, oh no, it'll be there. This time the third. And I was like, nah, I'm not okay with this. She's like, how's 10%? I'm like, how's 20? Man, I need, <laughs> I I need a 20% code. I'm about, to, I'm about to start calling them, doing some Molly Ma to get some discounts. Man, I need yeah, I got a 20%. So when you see that there's a lot of a lot of Nike IDs coming, just know it's like 20% off plus 20% on Ebates and all that jazz, plus some gift cards. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do I'm that. If they're gonna mess up, they gotta pay up. That's how I be. <laughs> Some of these places. So, do we want to do the hashtag hero? Yeah. We'll um. And, and, seven and, minutes. Let's get and it let's, done. And let's talk about. Hold on. Somebody shoot me a text because my phone is working. All right. I need you. Um. And this hashtag hero. All right. We're doing a little, something a little bit different. Um. We're gonna. No different. We're just right now. We're just doing the shout out for the hashtag hero, and then we'll pick it back up with a, a new format on how we, you know, put the prize out uh, for next uh, next season. Which next season will start January? Are we are we coming back the ninth? Uh, or are we doing the eighth or the um? I think it's the fifteenth. Okay. Eighth of the fifteenth. Yeah, whatever. TBD, but it's gonna yeah. be the eighth of the fifteenth, y'all. If the Bulldogs don't make it, then we'll be back early. So root for. <laughs> Root for the other. How about them dogs? Hey, oh man, boy, I, 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 I'm rooting for you, man. Because I mean, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Ohio Isn't State, was, but I, I mean, we we got beat by Iowa, and that and that's embarrassing, man. So I it is. Saw, it is well, what it is. I um, I mean, we could talk offline, but there was a lot of really good debates that had me going both ways. I'm like, damn, I'm on this side. No, 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 I'm on this side. I'm like, damn, they're really going hard. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, you win, you win your Big Ten, you win the Big Ten, and then you don't make it right. in. But I understand. I mean, I mean, Alabama didn't play nobody either. But I mean, they're good. All right, they're a good team. And yeah. uh, listen, there are some really good arguments on both sides. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It needs to go fuck to six. Fuck Alabama. It needs to be sixteen. <laughs> sixteen. Fuck. Oh Alabama. wait, Danny wants to know who won the hype beast thing. You see who's not here, right? Yeah, that's the hype beast. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, man. Cause for sure, it, it, it's between. Daniel and, and and Mike. Yeah, but see the difference with Daniel is he actually will cop GRs. Like, right. It's yeah, not just yeah. a hype beast thing. Whereas Mike is like fully converted to a hype beast. Like he doesn't own a single GR to outside of those church shoes that he be rocking. 
the weird ass shoes that he got. The only the only reason the, the only thing that separates them in my opinion as far as on Dan's end is that Party. Dan damn near fucking cries when he can't get a shoe. <laughs> and Mike just be like, oh well, on to the next no, one. Oh, that oh, is well, not true. Spend, Mike oh, Mike I, gotta go to the 12 step program when he don't get a shoe. He gotta call yeah, Dan. Oh, no, he gotta be talking off the ledge. No, no, no Michael Dan, Michael just spend the money and get it. Like Mike gets real emotional. What about in the group yeah. chat? In the group chat, when um, what was it, the eleventh? What what no, came out that he couldn't get the link, and he was fucking like, Dan would disappear for a whole week when he missed a shoot. He'd be like, "Oh, I'm just signing out the group chat and shit. You got to go find the motherfucking shit. Come on." Man. That is not true. No, Dan be on a mission. He just hit up everybody. You see in the story, miss out on these, really need these. He posts his picture, but in the picture, there's no quote. It's just, when, it's his soliloquy on how he needs a shoe that didn't come out Dan, Saturday. Somebody hits when, him up. Oh man, you didn't get those here. I'm gonna give it when to Dan you. When Dan missed the retail. pigeons. When Dan missed the pigeons, I was just oh. on IG. I swear, every motherfucker that hit, Dan had a sad ass <laughs> story on there. Man, I'm so glad you hit, but I didn't hit. And I just, I'm just feel so bad. I'm just, I'm just like, damn, dude. No, he did that. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, and then because I really like, I really like that too. that day. You know, there was no no meaningful quote with the dot 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 and what he was wearing. It was his. Damn, I'm just like I I'm ready to quit. I'm if done he, with shoes. I never said that. I, I've been there. I've been. And then, there. So I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna make fun of him for that. I mean, we talk about. I'm not gonna make fun of him. For we that. got we got to toss in uh, Grails Jenkins in there too. But I, I, oh, yeah, no, I'm no. not gonna say that he's really a hype beast. He just has everything. I mean, wow. right, no, but Jake, like when we when, when we when we break out that one group chat that we're all in. It all Mike depends on, on how you rank in the list. If right. you're going Mike by hype beast, so and, and Dan, we had this conversation, right? So if it's hype beast, it, it's Mike. It's Mike, Mike Jenkins. Or if, no, 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 Mike Ogden. And if we're going by like collection right. yeah, or like who has the most grails, that's when the list, you know, can can go either well, yeah, way. That's, that's not a hype um, beast, though. I think that. I, mean, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't like, Jenkins, Jenkins got every single human race. Earth he thing. got all of them. I don't I mean, think he's a hype beast though. And he, even he if he's got deep even if he does, <laughs> even if he does, I don't see him post them on IG. Right. So it don't funny. really count. Wait. It don't really count. Just wait. You, you, you um, rocking them for comfort. He don't so, wear them. They just sit in his closet. Okay. It thing. don't count. He's just, he can't put like, them in a bag or anything because it's like a when, five. When we start two. ranking collections and things like that, that's where Mike needs to float to the top. But when we're right. talking about being a hype beast, which was the original question, that was the debate. That's where I had Ogden at the top. And it's Ogden and Dan, one A, one B. Right, right. Yeah, and then on the same level. Me and like, Kev. I think so. I mean, gonna... Jenkins is not a hype beast. Quit talking about you not on the level. Jenkins is not a hype beast. I don't. Think I don't consider he's not a hype. I don't think he's a hype beast either. He just has everything. I think he got grails. He's holy grails. He's holy grails. All right, I'm not a hype beast. You, uh, <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are. How? A hype beast tendencies. So the, the whole thing is the whole thing is that Marcus just says that. I'm not the only one saying it. No, because you try to convince all the other motherfuckers to say it. You He's a grown ass man. Look, 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 look at the you chat. Look at the chat. Gobble it up. Chat. More oh, look at the fucking chat. chat. The chat is gobble it up. God damn it, your ass is a hype beast. I mean, shit. All right, so anyway, stop. We we have tortured a lot of the people <coughs> in the chat enough with this topic. What's the hash? Let's get in the. <laughs> You I'm always want to move on with somebody getting in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> because, oh, because it's an oh, imaginary. Oh. We, we ain't fucking moving on. We're going to keep talking about hype beasts, okay? We ain't moving shit. Ooh, team Early is hype beasts. One-legged lister, definitely. <laughs> what are when, when like Dan. I'm just I'm just quoting cute Q- Q- queen. That's it. She she made a comment. And everybody else. Her. Everybody know and that everybody you, else. you got hype beast tendencies, dog. I got shit that motherfuckers don't wear. That shit okay. And- Everyone has a little something that nobody wears. What's but- that mean? What, what about your Kyrie collection? Only I don't own any of these, Mr. Dabs. Oh, you just got rid of them. You just got rid of but them. You it had doesn't the, mean that I don't. Holy, you had the holy hype beast of, of, of Yeezys in the zebras. And there's photo yeah. proof on Instagram. We have pics I, on Instagram. Go to, no, go to his videos. Go to any vlog from a sneaker con. That's what he's wearing to, to and from the airport. Yeah, they're my fucking airport shoes. In my airport shoes? <laughs> yeah, you got the rock sign out. Ultra boost. Up. Oh. I love you, man. All right, Dan, yeah. go ahead. This is yours. <laughs> All right. Ahead, handle it, homie. So what's this dude's name? Mike. Mike is awesome. Mike. Mike is awesome. Mike is awesome. Thank you. Mike is awesome. Um, I really like Deadpool. I love the combination. I really like those threes. Um, 
Yeah, the DB threes. I think it's a no <laughs> Those threes, like they like they ain't nothing. Deadpool is the um, Deadpool is my favorite comic book character ever. So, yeah, fuck all y'all people. <laughs> there you go. All right. So Mike is awesome. Thank you. Thank you for posting this pick. It's dope. You're my hashtag hero. All right, and then uh, this is me. This is KB. Fresh kicks. I thought this was a dope, dope shot of the uh, Chinese New Year twelves. Um, man, his his pictures are sick, man. I, I look at them every day. It's um, his project. Well, I mean, fuck y'all project, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, man. No, nah, shout out to Kev. Uh, that's, that's dope. So we're gonna move on. Hold on. Who next? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna show Mike's because even though he's not here, um, he's got uh Ben, Arios, uh, with the Beijing Sixes. Um, I mean, Ben takes great shots. I think that the I I actually was gonna pick. His, but then Mike had put his. He had a, a picture of the top three goals, and that picture is sick. Yeah. Um, but shout hey, out that to one. Ben. I was like, oh man, yeah, that's sick. That's sick. My... Between him and Holy Grail, I was like, really? That's just really gonna kill my feed. Yeah. Then I got to see Dan with his calls. I was ready to break my phone. That's why I didn't post nothing this weekend. <laughs> Marcus, I don't even know what I picked, and I can't even put, I can't even see it yet. Cause Hold on, it's loaded. I'm a, I'm a slow ass mm-hmm. delay over here. Oh, it's uh your homegirl. D Lo. Yep. And the up tempos. The D B up tempos. Oh yeah, yeah. I, man, I love this damn shit. You know what I, I couldn't a photo, bro. You got huh? all that stuff to talk about. Kevin could have cropped the damn photos. Shit. They don't oh, it. hold up. Hold up. No. Everybody else no. crops the shit. Y'all know I've been sick. Crop it. Y'all know I've been sick. Y'all know I've been sick. Y'all could look that for me. Bro. You, you look never you me. never cropped a photo. I have. Ever, 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 ever. ever. Never. That's what you get. That's how your picture's gonna look, man. If you don't it don't matter. I don't care. That's the I'm still gonna represent my fam. So everybody regardless. Don't know that when they so, see it, they you, I'll give you credit though, because you did it, like it. it. You got chat. proof you liked it. You didn't follow the unfollow. So boom, there you go. Even the chat is saying that they love this pic. I mean, oh, you know, yeah, so it's a dumb picture, but you could have you could have helped, you you helped it out though. I mean yeah. all you gotta do is go into after you save it, go into the picture and edit it. But then you now too, it. I know how to do no, it. But even so, now when you Snapchat, they let you edit it right away and then save it. <coughs> Anyways, yeah, it's bomb.com. Bang, bang, good job. Yeah, and uh... How y'all gonna do the family like that, though? Y'all could've... No, you did it. You did that. <laughs> Hate you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, is my photo up yet? Yep, you up. All right, swang. so we're gonna keep it in Texas. But old swang, swang, you got the stash. Um... Yeah, man. It's been a minute since we saw the cuff, so it was definitely, definitely necessary. Well, hold up. Uh, definitely necessary that we brought the cuff back. So, shout out to old Ryan Swanger. Oh, Swang Swang. As, as Dan chugs Coca Cola, two liter of Coke. All right. Uh, so, uh, who we got? Who who we going to pick to be the who's the best? I'm going with D-Lo. Who the, who the, who the? I don't care, I don't care if I didn't crop it. Yes, yeah, so we got D-Lo. Oh, whoa, hold up. You cropped yourself. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you didn't do it. That's your job. Crop these. Um, so we had KB, we had Ben, Ryan, and D-Lo, right? <coughs> yep. Right. I think Mike is awesome. Oh, Mike is awesome. Sorry. Yeah, Mike is awesome with the, the Dornbecker 3 and the Deadpool socks and edit. I think that's dope. So I'm sticking with it tonight. All right, I'm going team D low. All right, then you win. And the up tempo that I really, really won't. But I should have caught for the damn price. Then D low, D low wins again. Again? Yes, you won before. <laughs> you won before. Like, My bad, <laughs> Steph. My bad, Steph. Clicky pen. I mean, bring out your right. evil ways. Err. All right, let's get let's get into the because uh, we're in overtime right now. OT baby. Uh, let's go ahead and get into. Shout out. Shout out. Um, so I will start. Shout out to the usual suspects. I missed a lot of the early part of the chat. I'm going to have to actually scroll back up once this is done because um, I had some technical difficulties with my workstation here, doing too much at once. But definitely appreciate y'all sticking with us throughout the course of the show. Hopefully you enjoyed our guests. I uh, thought it was very meaningful. Make sure you hit like. Um, we're at 54 right now. So let's try to juice that up. Uh, shout out to Ben. Shout out to Skinner. Um, I saw those two off the top of my head. Kick Strong as well. Shout out the show. We appreciate it. Um, want to shout out my sponsors, Champs, UA, Stance, 
Uh, shout out my fellas on the panel, man. This is fun. Love y'all. <laughs> Daniel. Um, so, uh, as you can see, Rejuvenator um, sponsors sponsors this show. Yep, and they're even on the hashtag here. They need to fill up. You can use code Monday Midsole for ten percent off your entire purchase. Go and check that out. You can get tan. One, two, three, four, tan. Um, I give it to Tan. That's gonna be your um, nickname. <laughs> so. Um, and then shout out to the usual suspects as always. Shout out to my brothers on the panel. You know, um, you know, shout out to Champs and Rejuvenator and Rasta Clots. It'll be and also, also go check out Anti Fuck Boy Sneaker Club and the shirt that has Keep It OG and it has my legs on there and the picture I have Shattered Backboards on. Um, if you go and check that out. 50% of all the proceeds of that shirt goes to the Wounded Warrior um, Foundation. So go cop a shirt, you know, help out the Wounded Warrior Foundation. Thanks for coming tonight. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, yeah. We got we to gotta get a hashtag. Yeah, go, we'll get that. We'll get that at the end. I'm um, my baby. Good job, Smitty. Uh, shout, shout out to 8-9 uh, uh, sponsors of The Gap. Um, and you can go ahead and check their link out in our description you can save yourself a couple of dollars uh, so you don't look like a poop but and uh, yes, shout out to uh, skinner of course uh ben arios uh wavy 80 mr orchard beach yeah I'm about uh, baby. and i mean I, I may have missed some. don't put that as a hashtag dan i may i may have... cop calls bro shut up <laughs> molly has money uh On yeah shout money. out molly shout made out. a few moves Shout out to uh, Sneakerheads Clothing Line for making me feel so great with this Buckeye victory. And I got a surprise for y'all. If y'all haven't seen it yet, at the end of the show, I'm going to play that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to Talking Kicks. You can catch them Wednesday, 830 um, on the Talking Kicks YouTube channel. Uh, shout out to Sneakerbox Podcast. You can catch them 11 o'clock, 11-ish. They were like 12 last Saturday. But um, shout out to uh, Caesar and M over there, and then uh, shout out to Sneaker Files podcast. Now I haven't heard them live, so you have to catch them on iTunes. Um, and hopefully we'll be on iTunes here pretty soon. Um, hey, so so keep a lookout on that. We're gonna elevate some stuff for y'all, and we didn't have one drop today from the computer. It's getting better, y'all. So thanks for uh, thanks it's a new for service. Yeah, thanks for it. I didn't even get the new service yet. Oh, wow. Look at that. I think they, they did something. But, yeah, I've been playing Xbox, no and worries. it's been working well. So I figured, like, let's get, give it a whirl. So, um, Dan, get that shoe up my face. But, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and pass it to Marcus. All right. Shout out to my brothers of the panel. Y'all always look after your boy. Shout out to La Familia. We got a little yeah. chat that we have with, 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 you know, a few family members from, from uh, the usual suspects. And, man, when I tell you they look out for each other, especially the ladies, Steph, Smitty, D-Lo, uh, uh, who else in there? Uh, Miss DMV, Laced Up MD, um, Chantel, Miss DMV. I mean, they look out for each other. I mean, they've been taking care of each other, and I love that. That's the kind of thing the sneak community needs, to look out for each other. If you can't get a shoe, you know, hit up your friends or if your friend, whatever, just – just keep looking out for each other, man. That's that's what it's all about. You know, take care of it. Just Jody. How can I forget Jody? Jody know she knows oh, I love yes. her. Can't forget Jody. But yeah, uh, shout out to La Familia. You know, the usual suspects. I'm watching y'all every week. I'm watching y'all trying to post everything I can. It's hard. I've been sick, so I ain't been able to post like I should. But, you know, just keep using them hashtags and I'm gonna keep trying to get y'all up. Y'all y'all been real productive and real helpful. Yeah, and keep everybody who posted twelves today too. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I tried to get those out today, but I couldn't get them all. But uh, just keep keep putting them out there. I make sure I get everybody. I can't always get everybody in one day, but I'm gonna make sure I try to get everybody and, and keep our eye open for this trip we take in Ve uh, in May. We going to Vegas, and it, it's gonna be a blast, man. So y'all keep your eye open. We want all the usual suspects to come, all our familiar, everybody. So keep an eye on that. And until next week, we'll see y'all then. Peace out. Hey, that, the hashtag. Hashtag. Yeah. Oh my bad. What we gonna no drop mid zone. No, no drop mid zone. Oh, oh, I didn't hear.
La Familia. I don't know the relevance of that, but okay. <laughs> Nobody dropped. We oh, had... And also, shout out to Baltimore Sneaker oh, Show, man, for oh, uh, yes. coming out earlier in the show. Oh, yeah, definitely. Might have to get him back on there. So, what, 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 yeah, give us hashtags. No drop mid All right. All right, no drop miso. No drop miso, and we out. Stop! Stop, Stop. at all. Oh, girl, we was dope. Did Wisconsin win? Fuck no, baby. <laughs> I try to tell you. Won't be that next turtle last day. What up, it's African Caesar, the Sneaky Box Podcast, and I tried to tell this man not to go up against Buck. What's going on, everybody? This is Rep Milwaukee That's 414, no, and we lost. I can't believe we lost. <laughs> I talked so much trash And the Badgers just took that L I mean I don't even know what to do with myself It was just like Ohio State was And they beat us in basketball too today I mean I just don't know what to do I'm going to go nuts I'm going to tell y'all what I'm going to tell y'all what I'm going to do It's all there black and white Clear as Christmas You get nothing You lose Good day, sir.